Hello, uh, this is Dimitri with uh, U Gears US, uh, U Kids LLC. Uh, today we're going to be doing the assembly of uh, one of the newer models, the Express Steam Train with Tender. Uh, it was released at uh, third quarter or fourth quarter of uh, 2018. I uh, still haven't had a chance to get to it, but um, here we go. Um, I do have an open box here, so because uh, I do get an occasional. Uh, either damage shippings or uh, use um, uh, some of the parts from inside the kit to replace uh, the broken pieces that you guys have uh, which reminds me to mention that uh, we do replacement uh, at no charge uh, as long as you purchase the model from us uh, which is ugears.us or uh, one of our affiliates uh, we do supply to a lot of stores so if you send me email just don't forget to mention the name of the store you purchased it from um, if it wasn't purchased from us, uh, we can do replacement through the manufacturer at no charge, uh, which takes about a month. Uh, or for a small shipping fee of 350 I can ship it from my warehouse in uh, the United States. Well, in either case, uh, let's go into the model. Uh, so this is V-Express Steam Train. Uh, we have about 538 pieces in here. So it'll be a fairly long assembly. Um, as I said, its uh, packaging is already open, so I don't need to remove any plastic. Um, did use some parts. I'm gonna pull out all the plywood out of here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, some rubber bands, uh, sandpaper, candle wax, and uh, toothpicks inside the box. Um, I personally use uh, or prefer to use a candle tea or tea candle wax. Um, this is uh, like a huge bag of 100 from Ikea. Um, I think it's like four bucks or something like that for uh, the full uh, 100 pieces. So obviously you're gonna go through them for a while. You don't have to buy all of them. They are available in smaller quantities in different stores. Uh, but I prefer this wax because it's a little softer and um, easier to apply. Uh, this wax is good, but I feel that it uh, occasionally starts flaking. So. Uh, when you try to put it on but um it's a nice small comfortable piece so uh, it can also use uh, be used during the assembly uh, so let's go into the uh, manual uh, we do have a little description here um, kind of thank you note uh, with uh, information on how to get uh, parts replacement once again uh, you can either go through here this is directly to the manufacturer or you can send the email to me at uh, info at uh, ugears.us and uh, we'll um, do the replacement for you. All right, so uh, page number one, as always, some warnings. Do not light up the candle. Do not use uh, melted wax. Hard wax is good. And then do not press with your finger on the toothpicks because you're going to get hurt. Um, some things that you need to watch out inside the manual for uh, a little warning signs. So when you see a little gear with a t toothpick and a candle, uh, apply candle wax, lub lubricant, uh, whatever you want. I did and uh, purchase a little uh, graphite lubricant, uh, which is supposed to work very good on uh, kids. They issue that I see in here it is uh, it works great but the problem is that it is uh, dark it's black color because uh, it's dry graphite it works amazing but your color will change slightly so it's up to you if you want to use it or not I prefer not to Kendall wax should work um, so next one, if you see exclamation point, pay attention to that specific step because there's something on there that needs, uh, uh, you cannot overlook because if you do, uh, most likely the model's not going to work at the end. Uh, if you see this little sign with the gears, uh, that means the gears need to be operational and uh, one gear should move the other one uh, or set, uh, for whatever the uh, sub-assembly is. And then uh, fan, that means uh, the part's supposed to be moving fairly freely. Uh, symmetry obviously makes sense uh, that it has to be symmetrical uh, through uh, about the center line and then mirror obviously mirror image of around the center line sandpaper that's when you need to use the sandpaper or a little uh, file uh, and uh, 
here, that's when you need to, to cut the toothpicks. I personally use the uh, exacto knife. You can do um, tool uh, to, uh, box cutter or uh, tool knife, whichever you prefer, scalpel, or something sharp. Uh, there is a helping tool, uh, H. Uh, you'll find it somewhere through the manual. It'll show you on what board it is. I'm not sure as of yet, because I haven't had experience with this specific model. And then uh, you will need to uh, cut rubber bands in the specific sizes. So we'll go through that also when we hit it in the instruction. Uh, this is the actual measurement, the actual size, uh, two size. So uh, you can refer to this or within the manual when you need to do the uh, uh, rubber band cutting, it's also it shows you a little ruler on here, two size. So as long as you put it against that, um, it should work. Uh, has doesn't have to be exact plus minus is fine uh, this is the dimensions just for the regular toothpick so you don't need to get anything special look for the specific ones it's just a regular toothpicks two point that you can get at any uh, grocery store in case if you run out very rare you will but you never know because sometimes they do break fairly easy um, grocery store um, by hundreds of them and then uh, you can use the regular toothpicks that are sold pretty much anywhere all right uh, let's go ahead and start with the model uh, we are on page four uh, step one and that's board number one uh, so all the boards are numbered so you shouldn't have any problems uh, looking for them and they should well ideally in sequence but not always. So we're looking for part number two, top uh, top center, and part number one, also top center. Uh, I need to get one of the toothpicks. And then get, go ahead and open the package. And I'll put them inside the box there. And you need to slice it in here. Uh, slicing in half is usually just for the uh, so you can use more of them uh, and we insert the part, part number one into two uh, with the hole uh, rather than the slot and then lock it up with the toothpick from the other side push the toothpick so it sticks out a little bit on one side and then you slice it off at uh, the other side so the way I do it, I usually pre-cut and then you just break it off. So uh, you don't need to like fully cut it through. Uh, next, we'll put that one aside. We do part number three and four, um, also on um, board number one. Part number one, uh, part number three is right at the top center there and number four, top left corner. And here, because it's symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way you put it in, um, but you're doing the same thing, put it in. Slide it in a little bit until the hole is through. Put in the toothpick. So it sticks out a little bit on each side to the purpose of it so it doesn't uh, pop through. And then just pre-cut a little bit and snap it off on the other side. And then if you see a little bit leftover fibers, you can just snap them off and you're done. So uh, next one, we need 16 uh, rubber bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And uh, this is the step that a lot of people have issues with and trouble. So we do need a uh, part number five within. That's top left corner on board number one. And uh, that's it. So we start with two, or you can do one at a time. So we have eight little uh, tabs on here within the uh, gear. Make sure, and that's where I make, missed, missed step number one. As I was mentioning earlier, you need to pay attention. There's exclamation point, so I have to fix the uh, the gear and which is a great experience I mean because you do know that or 
I guess it shows that you can make a mistake. Thank God it's uh, easily fixable. Uh, so I just reuse the same toothpick and put it back in. So you just need to make sure that the gear is facing the correct direction. Unlike me who completely ignored the exclamation point. Um, so now you uh, take with the little part number one away from you. Uh, you can do one toothpick at a time or two toothpicks at a time. So you put it over that uh, through the hole and over the tab. Just like, oh. now try one at a time. We'll see how it's gonna work. So you push it through the hole, pull it aside, and if you stretch it a little bit, it will slide through, and you just push it down towards that tab. So if I'm not sure if you can see it on there, that's the way it sits. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the second one. Same thing, kind of fold it in half push it through the top there like a larger opening on the same tab so it's gonna be toothpicks on one uh, on one tab and same thing I pull a little bit on that make sure just uh, one side it goes over like over that tab on both sides so just like that uh, that's the first one and then you push those uh, let's see there's a little tab so tab facing towards you and then you push those two toothpicks through that part number five. Uh, toothpicks, rubber bands. Um, although it is fairly early, early during the day, I'm not sure. And uh, now you get these two toothpicks. You need to put over the tab of part number um, three. So we do like one tap without the hole. And the way you do it, let's try to make sure that everything's facing the same as on the pictures. So bottom rubber band and top rubber band. So we go with the bottom one first. And then uh, the little uh, part number four facing away. So I kind of grab the rubber band with two fingers, push, pu pu put, it, put it against that tab, and then as I stretch it, it goes right into the slots. And then I do the same thing with the second one. If they overlap, that should not be a problem either. So I do one side and then I stretch it and do the second side. There you go, we got the first set of rubber bands ready. Now we need to do it eight times. And that goes, uh, let's see, so it's two pairs of each that will make it, and we have eight tabs on here. And so, in, uh, as you can see, there's also eight tab on that little part number three. So uh, four of them are with the hole and four of them are without the hole. So that's what they mean. Um, so let's go ahead and go with the second set. Just go, gonna go clockwise direction. So I put the first uh, rubber band through, and as you stretch it, it'll fit right in, tie it up, and then the second one, same thing, through, grab it on the other side, stretch it, push both sides over the tab, done. Now these two rubber bands go through part number five. Today. And then uh, you put a tab that is, if you look from the longer side of the part number four, and it's gonna be the one to the right or the other way to the left. So, um, once again, you just need to make sure you go in a sequence, one next to the other. So you grab one end, and then pull on the other, and as you stretch it, you bring it over into the slot. Things 
flats. So stretch it on one side, stretch it on the other side. And all fit in, and then you just pull it in just to get it. Here you go. You might need to stretch all the rubber bands, grab onto all of them to stretch it because uh, just to give it a little bit uh, more room in there. And then when, when, once they stretch, they sit uh, pretty tight in there. All right. So now we have to do it six more times. This is our main, so to say, engine component. That's what's gonna be running the whole assembly. And you do need all 16 rubber bands on here as uh, if you don't have enough, you will not have enough force to pull um, that heavy locomotive through. So in this kind of, it's just a repetition, same thing. Two rubber bands, push through number five. Grab one, we go to the next one, next tab. So grab by one side, push it through. As you stretch them, they should go through right into that little tab. Two slot openings. And just make sure you go into the right ones. I mean, by right, I mean correct placement go and then next two and it's uh, probably better if you do it in sequence otherwise you're gonna mix yourself up if you put like all the rubber bands on one side and then try to put them on the other side so I'm just gonna be doing it step by step putting it over the top pushing it through number five step over that's the one with the hole now there's a lot of rubber bands around so it's getting hard to maneuver And the next set, so we're halfway done. You guys are gonna see the raw footage. I'm not gonna fast forward through it because you can do it yourself. Um, I'm not gonna be 
editing. So everything is nice and raw. I mean, the only times that uh, I'm doing some editing, if I need to stop, and which I will, I don't have much time in the day to do it through. So I do um, small recordings here and there, and then I patch them together and push it out onto the YouTube. So you can go through the assembly without any issues. And if it, even then, if you come up with uh, uh, questions, do not hesitate to contact me if I can't answer it. Uh, most of the time I do. I'll forward it to the manufacturer and they will help you out with the um, issues that you have. Uh, we do also accept the recommendations. Um, unfortunately, I usually, as far as I've seen, they will not do any modifications to existing model very rarely if something is done unless it becomes like very popular which seems like this one will um, and then the recommendation really is gonna make it better so they will well but they will definitely consider everything tedious work but it's necessary for the good operation of the engine and as I mentioned you just grab onto the one end stretch it out and then kind of put the rubber band against the slots and it will squeeze itself in almost itself and then if there's already a couple of rubber bands uh, grab onto those and uh, stretch them out too so that way it'll create more space in there and then uh, all of them can fit three more sets six more rubber bands I wish there was an easier way to do it but not at this moment My recommendation not to rush through the assemblies because you tend to make a mistake if you're rushing and uh, also miss could miss a step or two which will affect the final assembly all right two more or four more rubber bands, two more tabs. Usually everything goes much faster. As you're doing the assembly, this is just the first step that needs to be done. It could have been done later on, but I guess maybe not. No. That's the heart of this uh, V Express.
long as you get if you stretch it if it's in right in and then the last one Let's just a rubber band. And then we'll put two of those through number five. Get pretty tight in there. Push them through and then over the last tab. That's going to be the hardest because there's two rubber bands on one side and then there are two rubber bands on the other side. So, but as I said, grab one end, grab the other end, stretch them out, and then they fit right in. And the last rubber band for that assembly. So we're done with um, step number 10, moving on to page number five. Um, part number five goes towards the little gear. Not sure if all the way to it. But against. Push it against, I think it's number four, and number three, just like this. And then we need uh, four toothpicks cut in half, or eight, no, no not eight. Uh, let's see, so we'll need a few toothpicks on here, and I'll use four. We'll go from there, so you cut off the sharp ends and then use use the H tool now we need to find it um, I believe it's on board number three it's on board number three to the right a little below the center line horizontal center line push it out and then we use the a little sizing. There's a uh, slots, slot number three, and uh, we slice up the toothpick right right against it. So you got a little toothpick, little uh, pin there, and we need eight of these pins. So we can get three out of one toothpick. Have some leftovers from previous assembly. I'm gonna use that up also. That one's too short. We're five. Seven and uh, one more. Eight. Now 
Okay. Uh, and we need part number seven. Part number seven is located on board number one in the top right corner here. And we do need part number six. Also top right, right next to it. And uh, we insert the little uh, toothpicks in part number seven and just goes on one side. Uh, let's see, we need to situate them the same way this, they show it there. So there's one hole closer to the edge. The other one's kind of like in the middle. So you flip one side. So these closer to the edge holes. So every, all the holes are spaced at uh, 120 degrees apart. Um, and you put a toothpicks in there right against the uh, bottom surface for um, parts number seven and then parts number six are there a little bit larger opening just like that as you can see I'm gonna push it aside it's gonna be our a1 and then a2 uh, we're doing the same thing Make sure they're 120 degrees apart, and uh, we put the other four toothpicks in the holes. And we need to make them symmetrical, so they stick out uh, same distance on both sides. Um, and then, obviously, it's not sharp end, so it's easier to push it. If uh, it hurts, you can use the tool. like this and that's our A2 uh, now A1 goes over uh, on the part number two if I'm not mistaken so on the larger gear yeah this part number two so on the larger gear um, and then you do the A1 see and you push the toothpicks through the little holes that are on uh, gear number two wait Never mind. Uh, you put it against the uh, number three. That's why I was wondering why it doesn't fit. Um, so you, with the toothpicks, you push it through the or four gear number four, the smaller gear. And you need to make sure that uh, the little part, or actually gear number five, and then the little part on there, uh, on the back, you also fit through the holes on a part number four, gear number four. So it uh, locks them all in place, that's up assembly. And then you do both of those, kind of wrapping around the rubber bands, holding them tight in a bunch. And then uh, holes also on the gear number four, so you kind of squeeze them all together. For a little sub assembly might want to stretch out a little bit the uh, rubber bands so they all look nice and tight with as little spacing as possible in between and then uh, a2 goes on the other side and then uh, for the a2 the rubber, uh, toothpicks should uh, stick out some So you push it flat against uh, the back surface of gear number two, and then they stick out a little bit on uh, the opposite side. And you can only put them one way through the hole. 
make sure the rubber bands are not on the way, are not sitting against the surface, so if you stretch them out a little bit, you should be able to get these little parts flat against the gear. All right, so that completes our step number um, eight. And now we need, uh, for instructions, we need to lubricate the gears in step number nine. So I'll use the candle wax that they provided in the package in the beginning, and then if I run out, then I'll uh, switch over to the other one. Uh, so you wax all the gears. And uh, gear number two. forgot to mention that the um, best way to do it is actually before you install the gears and uh, pretty much anytime you see the gear it's guaranteed that it's going to be rubbing against something or there's going to be some kind of motion so you do need a wax um, I usually apply it a little bit easier by taking the gear and just dipping into the my little candle, tea candle bag that uh, put some uh, wax on there. Uh, so let's see you moving on to page number six. And step number one uh, is uh, we take part number eight from board number one. And part number eight is the top right to corner here, a little bit below the top. A bigger one with a circle in the middle opening and then we need to send so if you with a slot towards yourself a hole in the middle so the top surface is here and we just uh, send a little bit that surface because that surface is gonna be the gear is gonna be against it uh, specifically that uh, locking one and I would put a little bit of wax around that large opening just to make the motion smoother and uh, now you take the little sub-assembly with the rubber bands uh, with the large gear number two towards the top and then we slide the rubber bands through the slot here because otherwise it's not going to fit through. And uh, that's the reason why there is a slot in that part to get all the rubber bands into that hole. So as I stretch them through and push them through. And uh, now that gear is against the uh, top surface there. And on the bottom, we insert part number nine, which is also on the board number one, top right corner here. Uh, there's also a slot. So that slot, that's where all the rubber bands go through that slot. And that's gonna lock So you can do like two, three at a time. Just carefully push it through. Don't try to force too much as you may break it a little bit. Well, shouldn't, but there's always a chance and possibility. All right, so as you get all the rubber bands through, uh, you push, oh, I don't, here you go. Make sure that all of them are through there. And then you push uh, that part number nine onto the little toothpicks, which doesn't help to stay it in place, but it's going to be locking. I'm just making sure there is no.
to one rubber band that is sticking out and um, need to push it back inside there you go so it's not against the surface and I can put part number nine all for this assembly over the toothpicks and then you can kind of hold the toothpicks from the other side to make sure they slide into that part number nine don't stick out too much there you go and then I'd say put a little bit of a wax on these two uh, sub assemblies A2 and then part number nine all around because they're gonna be inside the hole so you want to make sure that there's not not too much friction there alrighty uh, next uh, step number five uh, we need part number 10 and 11 uh, 10 and 11 uh, they're also top right uh, there's a little helper on the bottom left of the or top left of each page um, it shows where the parts should be so we got one, ten, and then part number eleven. And so as you hold the board uh, with the slot towards you, uh, there's a second on the right, like it's right in the middle, in between um, two rectangular opener openings, and the third one is a little offset from the edge. Uh, so you put number ten inside there. until the little mark um, on it and then you slide number 11 over it all the way to the surface of the board uh, so it sticks, it sticks out number 11 uh, number 10 sticks out a little bit uh, now uh, we need four number 12s, also top right uh, of the board number one. You can also use the little tool to push these parts out. And then all of them are going in these corner, uh, four corner openings. And then you just slide them as far as they can go. They're symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which side. And just like this. And then we need a little uh, rubber band uh, cut down into the 20, uh, three and a half millimeters roughly. And so uh, as you can see, it's much longer. What you do is uh, you just kind of like wrap it around your finger in the loop and then hold one end and then push the other end through that loop that is on your finger and then it creates a little knot so as you do with the knot you try to get as close as move it around a little bit as close as possible to the size that they show in the picture and then based on that move, move it one direction or the other direction and tie it as tight as you can so as you can see, you got approximately about the same size, maybe a millimeter bigger, but that should not be an issue. And then make sure you cut it off on uh, the size that you need to cut off and not the one that you're going to be using. And then you got yourself a little uh, rubber band tied up. Uh, and then we need part number 13, which is also on board one top right corner there and then uh, through the smaller hole with the tab facing to the right use that uh, rubber band and just push it through and 
and then I would put a little bit of a wax on that number 11. And then with that number 11 on the left side, with the five, uh, with number two on top, uh, that's where the this uh, part number 13 goes through, and I'm assuming the rubber band goes through that slot. And, um, but we'll see in a second. We're done with step number eight, moving on to page number not, uh, seven, uh, step number one. So we got the rubber band sticking out. slot and we like the whole thing up all right so that doesn't go that uh, rubber band doesn't go through the slot you need to actually it's a good thing that I'm looking right now so one end of it you wrap around these two little slots right here then you put hold the other end of the rubber band to make sure it doesn't come off. Put number 13 in place over 11. You can rotate a little bit um, that gear. And then as you hold the rubber band, we need piece number 14. Kind of tough. Maybe a little bit different sequence would do. Uh, piece number 14. On the right center, almost there. Now I'll put it right away over that that rubber band. So let's see. The two slots are closer to you because we're looking for that slot. And then I'll put the rubber band over these slots to make sure it doesn't fall out. Hold piece number uh, 13 down, um, and the step goes over the opening. And you put the number 14 over number 12s. And push it as far as they can go. And we're done. So the rubber bands are hold, uh, two ends of it are held on these little uh, slots. Okay, and then uh, next step, kind of put that assembly side a little bit for now. And as you can see, that whole rubber band assembly rotates with a little clicking sound. Thanks to that rubber band, there's a clicking sound. All uh, right, next step is uh, part number 17, also on board number one. Uh, I have that little large piece number 77 I'm just gonna put it aside because it's falling out now all the time uh, so let's see it was part number 17 it's right in the middle here and then we need two number 16s which are um, let's see they're to the left here Um, with the board number 17 uh, with that whole smaller hole to the left put number 16 in the farthest um, slots and that's step number four is complete uh, and then the next one we need part number 18 we're still on board number one and part number 18 is a t little bit above the center line there the middle um, right at the center, vertical center. So just take it out. Should be kind of almost falling out by itself. And then we need another piece of rubber band. So the cut piece, it's gonna be very hard to put a um, loop on there and um, try to loop it and uh, create another one in order to save the rubber band. So, but I'm gonna try using two fingers. because the size is smaller, oh, I'm still able to do it, but in case if you can, just use another rubber band 
you should be fine so once again I'm trying to get into the size so before the knot is tight you can actually slide it back and forth a little bit and here we go I actually was able to reuse it and then you sl sl slice off the extra pieces that are not used now that's garbage leftovers so and that goes uh, let's see you kind of squeeze it in half and both ends I mean like kind of like in the middle it goes through that little slot so it sticks out on both ends of number 18 um, make sure the tab well it doesn't matter right now but uh, now one end of it is gonna go into the there's like one two three four slots in here or sets of slots so uh, one end of this where it shows the exclamation point next to that around um, part so one end of the rubber band it goes right into these two slots so we got one uh, here we go slice it like that tab sticking out towards yourself and then we need another port number 11 board number one top here and then part number 19 right below 11 is here and then with the 19 that's the longer tab that goes through uh, I would put a little bit of uh, wax on number 11 or you can use the stick or your candle And then 19 goes through that number 11. Push 11 as far as it can go. And then it goes through uh, the larger hole on part number 18 and right into the slot where it's going to sit in. Just like that. The next step is. Uh, another um, 13 millimeter rubber band we were supposed to make two so we need one for one step and then one for the other step As I said, it has to be close in size, doesn't have to be exactly 14, 13 and a half millimeters because you almost never are going to get it in that, that specific size. And that, that rubber band goes into the slot right next to it, uh, right next to the smaller hole, just like this. So, with the larger portion sticking out on top. And then we need uh, part number 46, 20, 21, and 46 again. So 20 is a little bit right at, um, above the middle. Uh, 21 right next to it. And then 46 is two 46s right here are next to 11s. I'm going to use the tool to push those out. Uh, make sure you clean off if there's any like extra material on there. Because it doesn't always cut through completely. And then a little bit, I would put a little bit of wax. Because it's going to be inside of the holes. And then let's see, we need, it goes uh, one part, it goes through 20. So the 20, let's see, with the longer stick towards the right and towards you, we push 21 through it, through the hole here. One of the way to do it is uh, to apply a little bit, because this is one of the parts that breaks quite often. Apply a little bit of wax on the edges there. 
and then make sure you uh, put them together the, put them the same way as it shows on the picture and that way it makes it much easier to push it through and then uh, number 46 goes uh, on the other end of uh, side of 20 and then the other 46 goes on top do they wax both of them? yeah just in case and then one on top of the part number 21 and then these two assemblies they go into the smaller hole just like this now we're done with step number eight moving on to page number eight um, and we're back let's see we need, don't need to do anything with that rubber band as of yet um, we're back to our other assembly and we need to put number 15 also on board number one it's right here but I lost it <laughs> onto the other boards and then we need part number 22 uh, which is um, also on the same board top right right here side of that board so put a little bit of wax on the, these gears uh, and then uh, let's see we need to, uh, with this board uh, with the hole facing to the right we need to fix uh, sand a little bit the bottom portion here And put a little bit of wax around the hole because that's where the gear is gonna go through now we flip this one this way uh, holding by the gear uh, with the uh, let's see what would be the good indication so with that slot away from you uh, we insert through the slot all the rubber bands uh, to number 15 Um, once again there's like a little sh smaller sharper ends there which may break if you push it too hard the rubber bands through so like one at a time should be good and just rotate it around make sure these two slots kind of match each other um, I would put a little bit of a on uh, wax on <coughs> 11 that a1 sorry not 11 Subassembly A1 next to the gear and push it through. And then, once again, these slots approximately as of right now to match each other right there. part number 22 over it and make sure you um, as this is facing down make sure the gears are facing uh, on the uh, it's kind of like a locking gear so the gears are facing clockwise so to the right and then we put it over uh, that little sub assembly there uh, we're m moving on into the uh, part uh, step number two and then that goes into that little sub assembly that we've done earlier once again with the slot same directions on here because that's where number 46 can uh, stick into and as you lock him let's see that rubber band for step number three 
the one that we just uh, did this freestanding one, it needs to go around the part number 20. And because I have wax on my hands, it doesn't slide very easy. So it needs to go around part number 20 and onto the slots on the board number 15 right here. And then uh, let's see, and the other rubber band. Um, also into the slot, so I'm gonna have to push it out. I'm using my helping tool to get it out. And also into the little slots that are on the board number 15. Just like it. One side is good. And here's the other one, so. Uh, just like this let's see all the gears are there everything is there and then we put put the uh, number 15 and attach it onto the bottom just like this uh, so we're done with step number three and step number four uh, a little bit of sandpaper and wax around this part right here Hopefully everything that I'm doing it makes sense. And then we need parts number 23, uh, 24. That 23 was right in the middle, 24 centered to the right a little bit. The number 38 falling out. Then uh, 26 and 25s. So 25s was a little sad right here. The of little round cylinders, those are little ball, oh, bearings. So push those out. There should be six of them. And then I know it's a little tough, but we'll need to use either sandpaper. I use the file. Now we just send off a little bit uh, connections, connection points. that uh, let's see got all of them send it uh, we need some uh, candle wax onto the board a little bit onto the side of 23 outer surface Twenty-three goes right over that assembly here, right into the slot. Then the next uh, step is uh, number twenty-four, and twenty-four. I would also kind of hard, but I would wax the, these little bearings. Well, it's a little too early to put those in, so I'm just put adding a little bit of a wax for it's just smoother. Movement. Let's see, and for number 26, we need to also, I would recommend to send the connection points here on the sides and then apply wax all around and on the surface that is going to go against the uh, bearing bolts. Just like this. Now we take this upside down, uh, put number uh, 24 over it, and then put the little 25s inside there. Uh, make sure they are, cylinders are in a directional, I guess, uh, don't put them perpendicular to directionality or movement of that uh, gear because it's going to move around in a circle so you need to make sure that those uh, gears or bearings are moving also because if you're going to put them um, perpendicular it's not going to do any effect and then you lock it all up make sure the surface that is waxed uh, lock it up with the number 26 
just like this. The next step is page number nine. Uh, we take uh, one of the toothpicks, well, I have a little small piece, cut in half, and you push it through the hole in the bottom, locking the whole sub assembly together. Push it uh, so the little portion stays on one side, and then uh, snap off pre-cut and snap off a little part on the other side and that locks subassembly together uh, and then let's see we need part number 11 two of them part number 28 on the bottom right here 38 is falling out again uh, part number 27 that's a large larger little T looking tab bottom uh, it's right at the center vertical center to the right and then uh, remove any extra part pieces on there I as I said I would wax 11 all around as they're gonna be sitting in the holes And then uh, wax the gears. As I said, with uh, that's the trick I do. I usually take the tea candle and I just dip the gears into the candle. And then uh, make sure these two facing top. Insert the 27 from the bottom all the way through. Then 11 on uh, through the top, locking it. on the bottom, locking it together. Put it aside, uh, and then we need uh, part number 30, 31, and 229s. So 30, 31 are in that, about where the 28 used to be, and then 29s are center, a little below the middle, horizontal middle. There, uh, once again, any burrs for the easier operation of the gears and then because these are gears I dip them into the um, candle wax as it shows into step number five or apply a candle that is provided and then uh, I would send a little bit the connection points on number 29s just for the smoother operation. And also apply wax on the side. Now we need two toothpicks one toothpick cut in half and then uh, use your little measuring tool helping tool uh, we need to cut it uh, to about 14 millimeters so 14 millimeters Now that goes, um, the toothpick goes through the center hole of the number 30 into the 29 and then push them through so they're symmetrical meaning that it's sticking out about the same distance from the same dimension from both sides. That's number 30 and then 31 to distinguish them, there's got in 31, there's uh, three little um, marks for Roman numeral three and then a little apostrophe at the um, end. 
to distinguish them. And the same thing here. Now we need part number 32, which is on uh, board number two. That's that long, long piece there. then we need to number three so we push that 32 piece so that little uh, square side is to the left and then numbers uh, 33 are still on board number one in the top uh, to the left there uh, to the right I apologize and these three number threes go into one two three holes here so this one stays open and try to put them the way that it's shown on the picture. They should go in pretty easy. And then ours uh, A3, which is 30 for the 29, goes into the hole uh, right here, right at the center, in between these numbers 33. Our 30 one which is a4 goes to the hole on the right here matching it and then uh, the little uh, subassembly from four uh, with the little t on the bottom there goes into the little hole or center hole right here uh, make sure the gears are interlock interlocking and uh, we're done with step number eight on page number nine Moving on onto the page number 10. Okay, uh, step uh, one on page 10. Uh, let's see, we need part number 34. It's on board number one on the bottom there. Uh, make sure the center, like right below the middle line. Uh, and let's see, and that will cover the assembly that we just put together. Just need to make sure that all the gears align again. Everything's sitting in there in corresponding holes. There you go. And you can then cover it up with the uh, number 34. There's only one way you can put it over. And just make sure that the, all the toothpicks fall right into place. snap it on and let's see move the gears make sure they operate so you see all three of them moving you're good to go that's a step two of our verification and then I think we can put this one aside for right now uh, let's see we're going into step number three we need parts number uh, 38 this is the one that I had fall out all the time uh, let's see 37 pieces right here uh, 36 one of them for now actually two for this uh, assembly so pull these two carefully uh, clear off of like extra pieces there on there um, actually we'll need looks like we'll need three one two three Fourth one I'll put on the side. Hopefully it comes into play soon. So I don't lose it and don't misplace it. Uh, where are we at? 36, no, 237. It's number 39, uh, bottom right. Right here. 38 we already have. 35 is the long piece right here. And then it ends up with the 36 at the end. All right, put that one aside. So we need to wax inside of the hole right here. But instead of uh, waxing inside of the hole, I would wax the uh, number 36 gear, or not gear, but um, that little cylinder. Uh, and I would wax all three of them just in case. Uh, 
and then also because the gear is going to be on this side I would uh, put a little bit on the surface of 38 right where the gear is supposed to be right around the holes and then the gear uh, dip it into the um, wax or wax it with your candlestick uh, just because it's a gear and anytime you have a gear needs to be um, waxed uh, here the ask us to wax the size of that uh, 35 XL just to get the 36 probably slide, uh, slide on there much easier so we have 36 on one side uh, and then uh, onto the 35 and then 35 with the writing with the longer side uh, 36 goes on there all the way through the end then we put it through number 38 and make sure you got the correct orientation so we're going through that not very cylindrical hole or a cylindrical now we're actually going through the cylindrical hole <coughs> so these three should be on the top and two of them towards you uh, so that's the way it goes and um, our sub assembly goes through the cylindrical then we put the gear number um, 39 on all the way to the end and uh, lock it up with number 36 so and that 36 should be past the mark on 35 um, smooth rotation there and then uh, our parts number 37 they go into the uh, let's see the center hole out of the three on top then the uh, bottom hole right here just make sure you get the right directionality and then we're good to go so that's our step number four is complete it's rotating uh, next we need two uh, toothpicks actually just one toothpick cut in half and then uh, we need to measure it off to uh, with our measuring tool to a number three position two pieces I'm just gonna use one of the ends push the toothpicks on the side so they're not on the way and then we need part uh, gears number 41 and 40 uh, they are also on the bottom left here for board number one um, wax the gears Uh, we waxed the other ones already on the sub assembly so we're a little bit ahead of the game and then uh, put the toothpicks through I'm just gonna remove the excess uh, end of wax here and then 41 is the larger one it goes um, so if we look where the gear is at uh, rotate part number 38 uh, the way that three holes are on the bottom uh, so 41 is going to go into top right side it's uh, just push the toothpick enough so it's uh, flat with the bottom surface here and then number 40 is going to go into the bottom uh, hole in here and same thing just push the toothpick a little further so you're like flat with the bottom surface and uh, just make sure that they there's some with rotation they're probably going to be falling apart so we're going to put it on the side right now uh, we need one um, rubber band uh, and about let's see loop it around your finger put the loop through fingers are a little slippery after the wax that I just used oh, just need to make sure I get into that there you go and then we need about 23 and a half millimeters roughly and then cut off the excess 
and then it goes on part number 42. 42 is a piece on uh, board number one. And then there is a little slot here. So that uh, you need to put that little rubber band through the slot. Just make sure it's on there. Uh, and then we flip it. And that uh, little round cutout should go uh, where we had that little sub assembly with uh, 36s. And we go over it. Number 37s will get locked up. And then make sure you just push the toothpicks through. And then double check that the assembly is operating. It's freely moving. I forgot to put a little bit of the candle wax on there, but uh, it's all right. It's not attached completely, so we can take it off. Not candle wax, I apologize. Uh, send it down a little bit. And so just send the surface that's going to be attaching to the or close to the gears. And put a little bit of wax on there, so it's not going to be any problems with the movement. So now it should move like really free. Uh, moving on to the page number 11. And here we need parts number 43, two of them, and 45. They're all... right on the bottom of board number one so we got board number one is done we don't need any other pieces out of here uh, except the big 77 that is sitting on the side right now um, come back to one page yeah we needed two of the 20 millimeter uh, rubber band I'm gonna use up one of the Leftover pieces there, try try to use up. If I can make a loop out of these, should be good. If not, I'm gonna just start with a new one. So just loop it around your finger, push it through, and tie it up. Once again, it doesn't have to be exact but close, as close as you can get it. So while your loop is still large, all right, back to the page number 11. And then we put, uh, we push that loop through that uh, hook on number 45, kind of similar as we did prior to that. And then 43 we go on to 44, so that's the first step. So we create a little letter H here. Then the old go, we uh, turn our subassembly upside down, and that goes into these two holes that are left on here. as far as they can go make sure they sit it nice and good and then 45 goes on top here with uh, the hook being to the right or that little long extension while the uh, sub-assembly with the gears here towards the top or away from you so then you just put that Part number 45 on top of the 43s. 
Let's squeeze them together and you're good to go. Make sure the gears are still rotating. Nice and easy. Uh, push, put it aside for now. And we're going into step number three. Step number three, we need parts uh, from board number two. And that's gonna be number 11, top left here. Two of them. Uh, let's see, part number 47, top left corner. Part number 49, which is so right in the center there. Uh, two number 50s. Part number 48 and 111 we already got. Alrighty, so we need to wax that uh, number 50 on both ends is just to make sure that it's easier to insert into the gears and without breaking gears. Uh, we need to make sure that we do wax the gear because it will interact with something. So both gears are gonna go into my dip wax, which is the candle, uh, tea candle wax. Number 11, uh, remove any parts in there and same thing, and just uh, all around, dip it in uh, wax. Same with the other number 11. Uh, let's see what else. I don't think nothing else at this point of time. So now the assembly. So we take part number 49, there is a little mark, a uh, little two marks, one vertical, one horizontal. That should be towards the top. And that goes uh, through part number 47. Then, uh, let's see, doesn't matter which way, all the way to the end. And then we put number 11 on top of it. Uh, then from the bottom we get two parts number 50 go into this little slots right next to the 49 and that's what we waxed just to make sure that they go inside there nice and easy make sure that the slot is also towards the uh, to, towards that gear so two of them with the slots up far as they can go and then we go with number 50 and uh, they make sure all the slots line up so you don't break the parts and kind of wiggle them on and squeeze them together and then 11 goes on top just to lock it up well not, not locking anything up but it's gonna be rotating and that's going to be our B1 assembly, so put it aside. And then uh, B2 sub-assembly, we need uh, the other two number 11s. Number 52, that's the larger one. Uh, 51, uh, that's uh, right in the center line, vertical center line. 253 is right above it, and I'm going to use the tool to push these two guys out. number 48 48 is the top right corner so you might have a question why mine are coming out so easy and sometimes you don't experience the same it really depends on the condition of the wood uh, my model has been sitting in my basement for some time so they almost because it's a winter time so it's almost perfect humidity about 35 40 percent so it's in the perfect condition um, so if you keep them in the same condition for some a day or so you should be uh, experiencing the same thing sometimes it gets uh, a little bit too much moisture then you might experience a little bit harder time to push the parts out but it sh still should be okay because we do have an exacto knife that we can use and um, obviously a little bit of a sandpaper if they don't go in very easy together um, 
especially if you're down south, southern state like in uh, Florida and stuff. Alrighty, so um, we're waxing number 11s. Number 53s, we're just gonna wax the ends. Uh, two gears. Uh, just make sure we apply the wax all around and all the all the gears there. And then we take 51, and the, let's see, I guess there's a slimmer end towards the top. We put number 11 on top. And then 48 goes through the, actually, I'll try to put 53s in there first. Uh, I guess the directionality doesn't matter much here. It'll be just easier if I'll insert them right away. And then I push it through the um, 51 all the way until it locks in. Uh, after that, we put the larger gear on and make sure those hence we waxed it a little bit. Make sure those 53s go into the slots. And the gear goes past the little mark on uh, number 51. And then we put a uh, number 11 at the end. So that's our B2. Alrighty. Clean up my desk here a little bit. Moving on, on to page number 12. And page number 12, uh, we're gonna do, do we're gonna be doing number B3. So we're also on uh, board number two. We got uh, 54. We have more number 11s uh, right here, top right corner, two of them. Uh, and then we need number 55, that's a big gear right here. Uh, 56 right next to it. Two number 57s there right here. Let's see, and two number 11s, so we're good to go. And same exercise, so we're gonna make sure that there's no extra wood on number 11. And we're around, I'm just gonna wax it up a little bit. And then we put a little bit of our wax on number 54 on the sides here. Uh, 55 obviously large gear you want some wax on it once again dipping I find it to be just enough wax to uh, for proper um, operation and then 57 both ends just to make sure that it, they're easy to insert and we'll start, uh, so with a slimmer end towards the top, we'll put 11 right on top. Then we take number 55, that's a large one. I'll put a 53s in here into these two little slots. And just wiggle them a little bit. To get them in. Uh, then that uh, number 55 goes through and all the way until it locks in. And then we put a gear number 56 with this little circle facing towards the outside, which will make it nicer looking one. And then make sure that it uh, you wiggle those parts, 57s, that they go on it, and then we put it 11 at the end. And just like this. 
and that's our B3. And then we need B4 and B5. So B4, we need parts number 58, two more 11s. Top right corner. Part number 58 uh, to the left, on the left side there. Part number 48, that's two gears right here. And we need both of them. 59, right at the center, a little bit, oh, almost at the center, towards the top. And then uh, that's it for now. Same thing. Uh, let's wax up number 11, remove all extra material there. Dip it in. Both of them. Uh, number 59s of both ends. And then a little bit of wax on the edges here of number 58. And same thing, slim end towards the top, number 11, and then we got 48. Uh, actually, I'll put the 59s on there first. Put the numbers towards the top, which I don't think matters much at this time, but, and that goes on to the gear. or onto the axle. All the way to the end. And then the other 48 with 59s going into the corresponding slots. Wiggle them on a little bit. Make sure everything sits properly. And then 11 at the top, and we get our number before it completed. So everything waxed. What we needed to be waxed. And uh, let's see, now we're going into the step number four of the instructions. Uh, we need 16 number threes. So we'll probably need quite a few toothpicks there. Our tool and um, cut the toothpick in half. Should be able to make about four out of each and toothpick. a lot 16 three but I'm assuming there's gonna be more sub assemblies that we're gonna use them for because looks like we're only using eight on this one four Seven.
17, 14, 15. I'm not going to use that one. It's a little too short. I got some leftover pieces here. 16. Whoa, that's a lot. Uh, let's see, we need uh, two more number 11s. Uh, they are in the right here, on the right side of the board too. Uh, number 63, uh, but a little bit above the middle to the left. Number 60, all the way to the left in the middle, the horizontal. Two 62s, they're on the right hand side also in the middle. One right at the center here, and 11 we already have. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna be making sure, and I'm gonna send down a little bit on these number 64, three and 64. We do need 64 also. Hard to, uh, no, not really hard to extinguish. Uh, it's, uh, separate them because you got two extra holes in here so it should be good without mixing it up alrighty so number 11 goes all right so let's do 64 make sure the slots match and then we put a little toothpick into the holes I'm using 64 because it's got two extra slots in there. It's going to be the bottom one. And then uh, make sure the slots are in the same position. So they are. Uh, parallel to each other to make sure you'll be able to insert them and then you gotta kind of wiggle the all the toothpicks around to get them in the corresponding holes this is a little tough need to make sure that it's the same spacing all around so the toothpick should be flat with the surface there on both sides just like this and then uh, let's see we need two number 62s I'm gonna wax the gear 61 just to make sure that we have Wax on there already, and I don't have to go back. And two elevens, obviously. Make sure both of these are waxed. Um, then sixty twos, the two ends that go into the um, gears. And I'm gonna start with the sixty two, inserting them to the um, part number 64 because it's easier than to try to insert them after you already have the center piece in there you go and then uh, number 60 with a little V on top there goes through there through the center as far as it can go and then we throw 11 on top and then 61 goes in the base. With number 62's going into the little slots there.
to make sure that the toothpicks are not in and here you go to make sure that the gear is past the little mark and then 11 at the back of it all right and we're done with number b5 moving on to the next page and uh, let's see, page number 13, step one. We need uh, two more number 11s. Their bottom, bottom right here, uh, bottom left center. 211. Put one aside. To number 68. And there is a 68 and 68 A. Both of them are shown, so we need both of them. Then 65 to the left. 67. Two of them. All in the same approximately portion in 66. Alrighty. So, same thing. I'm just going to send down a little bit the connection points on the circular connect, uh, um, parts. Wax on these number 11 is obviously going to get some waxing. Once again, uh, toothpicks go in. And it's only six of them in this case. And two more is going to be left for the 67 66 sub assembly. sure that the holes match up the center holes are in parallel to each other otherwise you're in trouble same distance then these go through number 65 uh, with the little six dash towards the top we're gonna wax a little bit the sides here the clips so the uh, 68 goes through that top That's the difference between 68A and 68. 
So the 68A has a little bit larger slot and it will go easier through the onto the 65. So right now my toothpicks, I kind of got them pushed towards each other too much. So I'm uh, separating the, uh, pushing them apart a little bit. Pushing the toothpicks out to make sure that it has a nice, nice look. Alright, so one more time. So 68A will have a slightly larger spot uh, slot. So that's the one that goes towards the center. And then um, we got 67, 68, uh, two 67s on both sides. Make sure the slots match. I mean, otherwise you're not going to be able to put the toothpicks through. And then that goes subassembly goes through the bottom portion all the way towards the center, and then the 11s go on two sides. And that's our B6. Put it aside. Uh, and then we need two more uh, number 69 and 70. see uh, step number five we have 70s two 70s here and two 70s on board number three we need four of these and we need Eight of the number 36s, four of them are on board number three, and four of them are on number two. So we'll start with that piece. Make sure you remove any extra material that is on there. Wax them up. Just makes it easier just to do it right away. We're going to make two, uh, four sub assemblies with number 70 in the middle. So, here it doesn't matter which way, um, just need to make sure you insert 36 all the way to the ends. Put a little bit over wax 
six, um, number seventies. Let's see if it's gonna help us. Yes, it does. So I just put it on the sides, and it's gonna help you to insert the little thirty sixes on there. Don't need a lot, just a little tiny bit to reduce the friction, and then you'll see that. 36 just slides all the way to the end without any issues. That's four of number 70s and then one of 69. That's a thinner one and then we need uh, two number 11s on there. I have one floating around and here's the second one. Don't forget to remove the extra materials in there. Wax those up. Now wax on the side, same thing, just to be sure. And then put number 11s. All the way as far as I can go. All right, um, next we're at step number three. So there's a lot of spare parts now. And uh, here we need part number 71, 73. They're all on the bottom of board number two. 71, 72, 73, and 74. So 71, and we need two of those because we need to make two of each. 71, 72. and 74s we need one toothpick cut in half and then we go through the 74 72 make sure that a uh, nice design is up up front uh, and then 73 which doesn't matter which way you, uh, actually you, you might want to also with a little design towards the front and then 71 at the end and then we push it through push the toothpick in, and we'll do the same thing on the other one 74 72 is the larger one, 73, and 71. And then we cut the toothpick on the other side. I usually pre-cut a little bit and then snap it off. It should come off clean. Two of these. Um, and then num step number Let's see, uh, I guess I went ahead. I did the bottom ones first. So five and six are already complete. Then step number seven, we need two parts number 75. And those are also on the bottom, the bottom right of the board number two. And two, one more tooth, toothpick cut in half. And let's see, we line them up, make sure they um, all the holes match. And we push the 70, uh, the toothpick through both of those. And push it through completely, press it against the uh, surface, uh, cut it off on the other side, and then now uh, we need to sand it down, the toothpicks. Make sure they don't stick out at all on both sides and smooth surface and then we need to put a little bit of a wax on there so on both ends there you go and moving on to page number 14 and page number 14 we need port number 77 that was from board number one uh, make sure you have with a big square piece towards the left there we need to part number 76, which is on the bottom of board number two. And there we need 
number 11. I had one fall out a little bit earlier. I'm gonna do a little bit of a right side, as always, all around. And then I'm also gonna wax uh, number 76 where the side where the hole is at. So just uh, all around, put a little bit of a wax. And we need to sand that surface right here. Where the gear is probably going to be moving. Um, so 76 goes through there with a hole through the center slot right here uh, with number 11 on it. put it all the way through so that's uh, 11 is going to stick in there and then our sub assembly that we just made in the last tab of uh, previous page number 13 that goes on here with uh, round off piece towards that longer slot thinner slot let's see which way it is I guess it doesn't matter much right now and then a little too thick. Let's see, I have some longer pieces available here. Right through that slot on number 76. And cut it off on the other side. So with a little bit piece sticking out just to make sure that it doesn't fall through. Uh, so, and we need, I guess, two eggs or sand. That should have done it sooner or before, but that's round off piece there, and uh, I guess we're done with that part. And now moving, the, put it put it on the side. Um, now we need twelve toothpicks. I'm assuming probably about three. Uh, cut to size number two. Thing and just measure it up. One, two, three, Four, five, six, Eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to use the longer pieces. Almost there. Eleven. Tiny ones, pre cut, and then uh, part number eighty and eighty one. And we need twelve of those, and all of them are on board number three. Bottom right. Two, 
six and six. Total twelve. Circular cutout here, so you want you want it up front. You want it visible. Uh, then numbers uh, eighty don't matter much. How they go in? But these six uh, six of sets they come together with the little toothpick that we just cut. Toothpick into the number 80s and then throw 81 on top of it. Just like this. the toothpick into the 81 and then throw 80 on top of it. piece and that's we're done with step number five on page number 14 And parts number 79 and 78, they're on board number four. One is on the left and one is on the right. So 79 is on the right. It's a long piece, so careful taking it out. And then 79 I'm gonna put on the top here, just like it's shown on the picture, and 78 on the bottom. So 79 with a little tab to the right, 78 with a little tab to the right, and these cutouts facing up, these ones down. I uh, just want to make sure that we're the same way. So the little um, part number 81 facing on the top on the number 79, and we insert it right over these rectangular cutouts. mirror image for for number 78 all right we're done with page number 14 moving to page number 15 Put these two aside and we take the part number 77 and we need to insert number 82, 83 and 82 which are to be found on board number 3. Board number 3. 
screen and they're right inside of these um, circles. Uh, we need 282s. see and they go on the right here there's a set of five openings and let's see the longer there's like a um, little taller side so that taller side is, is towards you do 82 83 and all three of them and 82 again Uh, then we do, let's see, number 84. Uh, bottom left. Um, another 84. It's going to go on the right side. 85. We need two of them. Make sure the taller side is same 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 direction and then number 86 there's two of them right inside the um, holes right in the center all right and uh, now we need three toothpicks i'm just going to use full toothpicks i guess i'll cut off one of the ends so it's, they're not sharp through 86 push it down all the way all the way through and let's see it should be on the uh, smaller side so through 84 then through 85 then through the one that we just uh, put up the 82s and 83s and then we put uh, again 85 84 and 86 on the end push the toothpicks all the way in make sure everything is nice and tight together and I'm gonna Cut them off on the other side. I'm just going to use a little bit of a sandpaper just to make nice and clean look on both sides. And we're done with step number two. Uh, let's see. And then we need to do the mirror image on the other part. So we take the other part, rotate it upside down so the gears are on the back, and then we need to put it on here. It's so the same thing, 82s, 282, 183, and then the taller Part towards away from you now. Since it's a mirror image, now we need eighty six, two of them. Got the third toothpick on the other side of assembly. It should go on the other side. And then push it in all the way through. And cut it off. Get rid of 
the sharp edges and then push it through 86 And through the Lord, the subassembly that is already attached. Toothpick through the first set of holes there. All right, and now we cut off the excess parts. with page number 15. Moving on to the page number 16. And slowly starting taking shape of the locomotive. All right, we need part number 93 and board number four. That's um, right at the center bottom here. carefully because it's a fragile part and then we'll put one of the uh, little light assemblies on there and then that goes uh, let's see that's we're done with now step number two and then we take I guess that's a 78, and then we need 95 and 94 on there. Ninety four has a little uh, mark on here, so that's the one that away from you. And then we insert it. You can put a little bit of wax to make the make it a little easier to insert and then uh, the one that we just made the little sub assembly goes in between all three of them with the two toothpicks cut in half we have uh, them from last pieces in, uh, from the last assemblies and this goes through the holes Make sure it's pretty fragile parts. So as you push them, hold all of them together because otherwise you're gonna, oh, we forgot one more. It should be another part number 96, but we can put it on right now. Second toothpick goes through the second hole here in the bottom, all the way through, and then cut on the other side. So you're gonna pre cut, snap off, fingers, pre cut, snap off. And the same thing on the other part, 79. So we need numbers 94, 
94. 93 and 96. That's where the light goes on. Ninety four is the one with the mark. And that one goes in first. Six at the end. Then push through a little toothpick and then another one. As I said, I had a pre cut from the previous steps. Or you can cut a new one. And then as you insert them, just pre cut and snap off. All right, that's now step number six. Both of these are done, and now we need uh, step number seven. So uh, we take one of these larger sub-assemblies with the, the ones with the gears on here and send on inside surfaces here where the circular ca cutouts are these three and then we take the port number 78 into the let's see into the slots perfect perfect lineup a little bit above uh, that little sub assembly that we did so everything should go right in to place and sit there nice and tight just like this this is step number eight complete and then step number nine is the same thing with the mirror image side don't forget to send these little openings step number 10 on page number 16 moving on to the next uh, sheet and here we need parts number 97 11 and 98 so 97 would be on board number two. Oh, sorry 98 and 97 is right above it I do have 111 there left. I'll wax them all. Never be sure. And that goes on to the, uh, I guess, right side. That's the uh, part that is sticking out. So 97 goes on first. 90, uh, 11 goes on second little part and then 98 goes I missed a step 
forgot to put a port number 99 into that slot. So 99 is also on board number two. It's a little lever here. I need now to remove number 97. Hook a little bit the previous part. Push the uh, lever through and put it on onto the little sub assembly. There you go. Get the parts back in. Make sure you slide the 99 so you don't break it up. Just like this, so the lever is working, and then. Lock it up with 98, I mean 97, 99, and then 98 goes right over it. And then that lever should be working nice and smooth. That's so uh, we're back on page number 17. So as you can see, the lever is nice, it's molding that piece here too. So it's all good. Put that aside. And let's see. And we need to cut a lot of toothpicks to the size number two. All right, so uh, we need parts number 87, 91. They're all on board number three. Let's see, six of 91s. One, two, three, four. Careful pushing these out. Five, six. Uh, let's see, two number 87s bottom left here they have a little mark on them and then four number 88s I'm gonna take a little bit different approach with the toothpicks and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what we have uh, we need six parts so I'm gonna take three of each. So I'm going to take six toothpicks, cut them in half. I'm just gonna do it like uh, we used to do it before, instead of pre-cutting to number two. So, and then I do number 87, I'll push the toothpicks through it. All the way through on both of them. That's the reason why they're doing it. It's just to make sure that you don't break the 91 because it's a little hard to push through. It's a very thin part, pretty delicate. So, gotta be careful with it. And then just pre cut and snap off.
doesn't always perfectly fit, but. And that's our 87s. And then we can do the 88s, four of them in same, similar fashion. That way you don't have to pre-cut all um, 36 pieces, but uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Whichever is one easier for you. Two speaks got snapped off a little bit, so I'm gonna cut more. Considering we're gonna be doing the wheels now too. This one's flat and not good, so I'm gonna throw that one out also. Distinguish 87 and 88. Um, 88's got a square hole in the middle versus 87's got a little rectangular hole in there. Make them look a little nicer. You can use a little sandpaper. Just to give them a little better look. But it's up to you. I'm not gonna do that. And then we need six sets of uh, 89 and 92 together. So it's also they're also on board number three. from 92 careful not to break them uh, not the internal but 92s and then uh, we're gonna do the same thing so here, we just want to make sure that the nice design side is towards the top. Also uses the three toothpicks to hold the wheels together. And so I got the little design, little dots on here. And then uh, 92s, they got a little uh, circles here too with the front side. So just want to make sure that I got the, the front side towards the front.
more. Toothpicks. And I'm going to use these three, reuse the three. These are the longest ones. It's just a matter of repetition, getting these six wheels done. So we're done with page number 17. Moving on to the page number 18, um, actual sub-assembly. So let's see, we start off with um, step number one. And that's uh, gonna be that large board with a set of gears on here. So these gears are on the left hand side and we need four number A5s there. Those four number A5s go through the holes on the bottom. That's the small uh, the eights are the ones with this square hole. There we go on the other side. So you kind of snap them on, as long as you can see them. Two front ones goes 8-8. Eight, eight. ones with a flat portion towards that. Let's see. There's no other way to put them on. Line 
lining them up or anything right now. sub-assembly with the lever and two rubber bands so that one with the lever goes towards left that goes through the la uh, last hole and then uh, we need to put a uh, let's see number 36 which I have already pre said there it fell out earlier so I just put it aside Number 36, I'm gonna wax it a little bit. It's gonna go over the sub assembly. And into that hole. And then the one more large wheel. part the 86 that's the little one the thin exo uh, that goes through the last hole in the back here and then the uh, a7 wheel with the rectangular hole that's the one that goes in the back uh, so we're done with that self assembly then we're moving into the step number three uh, and that's where all the rubber bands go Oops. Um, and then with the taller piece that is on the top, and with the hole facing to the left and closer to you, we put these parts in here so there's like slots and we get those uh, push right into those slots Next step is number four. Oh, we, we forgot number 100. It's on uh, board number three, bottom right. I think we got everything on there. That goes in the two holes right here. Snap, but it's alright. And uh, let's see, a little rubber band on a sub assembly that is holding the wheel. There's two rubber bands there. So those two rubber bands they go and hook onto the bottom portion right here. There's two. Uh, Two slots right here so it gets hooked into those slots so let's grab the one that is furthest um, I'll grab a helping tool pull it
get this into the slots. A little tough, but and let's see, and the other one. Just make sure you get it into the slots. And, uh, there you go. And tie it up a little bit. Just make sure they're not loose there. And then in that bottom portion, we snap it right into the two openings here. Kind of stretch in the rubber bands a little bit. And our next step, um, moving on to the page number 19, uh, we insert the B1. That's the small little gear assembly into the hole, top right hole. Hole here, make sure you match the gears. Step number two, we're all done. And then step number three, we get the right side attached here. So make sure everything goes into the corresponding holes. fits in and then start snapping those connections in everything comes together we're snapping slowly getting everything in place there we go and attaching there you go just make sure all the holes are filled in properly snaps where it's supposed to be and then we're attaching the wheels so a7 is all the way in the back and then uh, larger wheels right in the uh, bottom just make sure that they're all matching the location To roll back a little bit, double check something. All right, and then now uh, looks like there's a uh, one thing that was omitted in the manual as we were assembling the wheels the large ones the six times so it all shows us that six times we have to have that face facing front but that's incorrect 
So the wheels that we already have on the uh, train, I'm gonna take them off right now. And they have to be, I can separate it with my X-Acto knife. Just be careful, don't snap that part number 90, whatever. And we have to put it on the other side. The reason for it is because, uh, so just push the toothpicks through. They're somewhat mirror, uh, mirror image. And uh, I haven't paid attention to that note until now. Should have probably looked at it earlier, but that's okay. Because it's not that hard. So these things have to be on the inside for this set of wheels and then on the outside for the other set of wheels. So the good thing that they're easily removable. And I can remake them pretty easy. So I just flip it over, push the toothpicks through. And put them back on again. So we caught it fairly early in the stage. So I can still take them apart and easily flip them over. And you should be able to do the same thing. And that's what the warning exclamation point was there for. So make sure you guys do the same thing, otherwise it was, I think I made it, it looks like it, it is omitted in the manual. So, and then uh, the other one is just, uh, I'm matching you don't want to match the location, so it's uh, you want to You want to put uh, this little tab you know, about 30 degrees from the other wheel that you have on the other side. So that's what we're doing. the reason why we needed to wax those a little. So it doesn't matter. Which word they're sitting on there. As long as you attach them. There you go. Alright. And now. That's where the exclamation points are at. Um. Because these have to match up these little slots. Same thing on this side. They will have to match up with the um, wheels. And let's see if I'm correct about this. Hopefully I don't have to remake those back. But it looks like I'm right. All right.
so we're done with page number 19. Uh, moving on to the page number 20. That's where all the gears are putting, we're putting in. And let's see. gears so from the train so b3 b1 is already here next one is b2 it goes into the slots here matching the gears uh, then the b3 that's the large one before uh, then the next one is going to be B5 and we need to put a rubber band there around that where the toothpicks are at goes into the slots I'm just gonna throw the rubber band here for now squeezing tighter a little bit later because we need to make sure that they're all sitting in the right spots and then the last one is B6 and that rubber band goes around that and that goes into the last slot in the slots again because if they fall out they all get screwed up there you go back into the slots so the rubber bands on there everything's on there and that's we're done with uh, step number two and then 101 that's on uh, board number three the last two pieces they go on the bottom in between the wheels here assembly together so it doesn't go anywhere and so the wheels supposed to be all rotating we have no issue with those Everything's moving. This one's a little tight, but it's okay. Here we go. Now it's moving easier. So they all should go fairly easy. Okay, so this gear lever.
now the last wheel is not gonna go easy so if you need to lower the level then they all gonna go nice and smooth so everything moves the way that it needs to all right moving on to the page number 21 step one uh, we need uh, part number 102 which is on board number four So right in the bottom here, make sure you don't throw out part, no, part number 139, which is within it. I'm going to put it aside here. And then uh, 102 goes right in the front uh, with a little tap towards the top. And then we just put it on both ends. Just like this. Uh, next uh, step is uh, I guess I skipped that one. Uh, well, no, actually, one or two first. <coughs> Excuse me. Next step is uh, part number 103, 104, 105, 106, and 107. And those are on. Uh, Board number five. One of three is, uh, let me see. To the left here, bottom left. Uh, one of four is a little bit to the right of that. Uh, one of five, and we need two of those. They're right in the same location. Uh, let's see, 106 and 107. I lost 193 here. 106 is bottom right. And then 107, just one unit is right uh, about a little bit below the middle, right in the center line. Uh, so we do, we have that uh, 104, and then 104, we do 107, just the largest piece that goes right at the center. One of five, and they all marked one, two, three. So one of five is two. That's uh, to the sides of it. Uh, I'm sorry, one of six. It's marked number two is uh, to the sides of it, and then one of seven marked is number three. It's uh, all the way on the outside, and then uh, we insert one of three. That bottom row. That's where the parts go into. like this and then um, that goes uh, step number three that goes on the outside there's uh, three tabs here so right into those tabs on each side tight make sure you push it all the way in and uh, step number four is complete 
I'm going to put it aside now. We are in step number five. So step number five, we need um, board number four. And we got two 108s here right at the center bottom. And then uh, 109 through 126. That goes, uh, let me see, 108. With just like this, so the uh, um, I guess line on the left is sticking out towards you, or lines on the outside sticking out towards you. Um, so let's see, we need to, uh, starting with 109, uh, the old number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna push them all out. Let's see, starting with two. So I'm just counting the numbers that are in here. Seven, and then should be two number eights, which is one fifteen. Number nines. Uh, they're right below. One, the number eight is one sixteen. Uh, then two number tens to the right of one fifteen, all the way on the right. bottom towards the bottom starting from the right 12 13 skip the 16 we'll come back to it later 14 which is 121 15 122 Back in place that I fell out. 16, we'll come back. That's number 123. 17. Then 18 and 19, which is 126. <coughs> <coughs> Just have them all lined up. I'm gonna put these parts back in so I don't lose them. And now we can put them into the uh, sub assembly. So um, let's see, they're gonna go on the outside first. Uh, you can uh, uh, the suggestion is to lubricate these little tabs 
it's up to you if it uh, comes in smooth then uh, you don't need to but if it's uh, giving you a hard time then I would recommend to lubricate them so if you can push them down without any issues you're good to go and you just follow the numbers make sure they all face forward so number four facing here and you just go each uh, slot one slot at a time continue through the assembly number six number seven two eights uh, and they're gonna go into the outside two nines Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. should have something like this it's like step number six completed moving on to page number 22 and uh, we need two toothpicks cut down to the size number two yeah, that's a bad one so I'm not gonna use that one just grab a new toothpick Six. And now we take that sub assembly, <coughs> two in the back. to line up a little bit because they came out a little bit crooked in my sub assembly so let's see to the end to up front so 
So the front one, we have a part number 128, which is also on the same board, uh, top left. And then uh, 127 goes in the back. Just my throat is a little dry today, hence a little cough. And then 120 is in the back, I um, mean 20, which is 127. Uh, two more goes in the front, two toothpicks. Then 129 on top, which is on board number four. Uh, it's uh, right in the middle to the left, and that goes into the cover that up, cover the hole. Just like this, and then 130 and 131 on the sides. They're bottom right of the. Um, Board number four. So make sure the uh, design is facing outward. And then the, these go into this uh, tabs that are sticking out. flat portion goes towards the front and then the cut side the chamfer goes towards the back towards the part number 127 let's see so we have a little setup like this and then that goes over the back of the locomotive there's a little two tabs or two holes To open them up a little bit, just put them under the angle slightly, and then they go into the holes that are on the side here. Just like this. So there, as you can see, they're a little bit uh, under the angle. Uh, the next step is part number 132, which is uh, fell out on my board, uh, and I take the middle parts out, put them on the side, make sure you don't throw it out, and then uh, the side with uh, more holes goes goes on the right. Um, just like this so make sure it's an exclamation point and then the two toothpicks stick in there there's two holes and then match up all the other ones all the other tabs
lock everything in place. Uh, just like this. And then we're done with step number eight on page number 22. Moving on to the page number um, Twenty-three. Uh, we need uh, two number three size toothpicks. That's one and two, and those go right into the front of the little cabin that we just made. Part number one, 33 goes in there, uh, which can be found on board number five. Now right here at the center, we have 134, 135. 133 is right on the bottom vertical center line, a little bit to the left of it. So 133 is first. to split it up a little bit, kind of put it <coughs> um, into the holes, there are two holes closer to the cabin and then uh, squeeze the cabin a little bit and put uh, the two toothpick into the hole so this should fit just in a little bit uh, but not uh, don't push it too much in and then 134 135 136 37 and 138 so we go uh, 134 is uh, right in the middle vertically uh, horizontally and then a little bit to the left from the vertical center line is right at the center here next to it one thirty six is going to be right here right below one thirty five Seven to the left of it, and 138 is uh, center line, and a little above the horizontal center line. Large pieces, you cannot miss them. And I keep on pushing out other parts. And those go into the corresponding hole all across uh, the subassembly. So just find the next two holes, split it a little bit uh, carefully, not, make sure not breaking it. So 134, 135, it doesn't have the tab on the top. It goes into the next set of holes. One thirty six doesn't have a tab on the top. Next set of holes, kind of just a little to the back of the wheel with the rubber band. Then one thirty seven also without a tab right next to it. And then one thirty eight. It's got the tabs on the outside, so it goes right by the big wheel here. On uh, let's see, on the outside too. Now. Just like this. That's we're done with step number three. I'm going to step number four, part one thirty-nine and one forty. 
They're both on board number four. So 139, we actually pulled out some time ago. That's within the, that circle that we had. <coughs> Apologize. Need to fix that cough. And uh, 140 is uh, right inside of 141. So just carefully pull it out. Um, we do need to put a little bit of a candle wax on 140. 40. And then uh, 139 goes over the little pad that is sticking out as far as it can go. And then 140, you push it through the hole right to the center. Uh, now we need four number twos. So I'm going to use a new toothpick and make four number two size toothpicks. One. to the four holes that we have on that part number 141 goes on top of it, so the 141 is outside of that 140 that we just pulled out. So take the inner circle out and then put put it right over. So you put it over. Your toothpicks might go from the bottom. I would use the tool to push it back up into the hole. Make sure it's the same all around. Sit nice and tight. And we're done with step number seven. Now, page 23. Moving on to the next page. 24. Uh, and then we, we need part number 142, which is on board four. That one fell out also some time ago. It's a nice flat piece here. <coughs> and then uh, with the cluster of holes to the right and towards the back. That's how we put it on a train when it's facing to your left. Uh, so we need to make sure that we uh, match the corresponding holes. And that's gonna be the second one from the edge here on one side. And then if you look, follow that center line, it's also second hole, just like this. So we have, um, a little platform in the back and then we need parts number 143 and 144 also on the same board 143 is right in the middle here but just below the uh, horizontal center line then 144 is right next to it to the right the cluster of instrument and then you take 158 from inside of it out we need eight number three pieces here 
so I'm gonna put the train aside for a second and then uh, two toothpicks cut them in half Six. Four of them we need right now with part number 144. Uh, so there's four holes in 143, and uh, we need to put through all of them. So I just matched the holes on uh, part number 144 with 143. <coughs> them through and use the tool into part number 143 and then you set it against the train and find the holes and push them push the toothpicks all the way in Step number three, uh, we need part number 146 and 145. They're also on the same board. Uh, 146 is in uh, this is like a little shovel. And 145 right next to it. It's um, top left, only a few parts left there, so it's gonna be easy to find. I'm gonna use the tool to pull out 145. <coughs> Attach the... Uh, shovel to it, go through the thinner portion and just push it into that. These are fragile pieces so be careful. Uh, don't push it too far and then we're putting it into the second hole from the bottom there. Which is a little tight. <coughs> so you want to adjust where your 145 is at to make sure the shovel fits, shovel fits in there. So it doesn't have to be all the way up, just like this. And then uh, next part, we need to wag, uh, sand a little bit the surface of back surface here sand not wax just a tiny bit and then let's see we need parts number 150 it's a little piece here be careful taking it out 147 and that one actually we pulled out a little bit earlier uh, little gears 147 148 facing the other direction 
149 is also here. A little tiny gear. And then 151 is still on here. That's going to be in the bottom here. A little train door piece. to uh, wax a little bit uh, the gears and let's see one two three goes through 147. One, two, three goes through one thirty one forty eight. They go into the little two little holes above the opening. Don't push the toothpicks too far. it might fall through uh, then one toothpick through part number 149 center I'll put a little bit of wax on there too on 149 toothpick under that 149 on the outside uh, part so that's kind of like your lever and then we lock it with a little triangular piece uh, the three gears gear parts just like this and then um, 150 goes into the little slot here to the side that's another gauge Just like this so it's sticking up a little bit now your uh, gears here should work like this and just open up the opening for the coal uh, make sure you work it up just like this and we're done with step number four on page number 24 moving on on the page number 25 and here uh let's see we need parts uh two parts number uh toothpicks size number two Parts number 152 to 152s. Then uh, top right here on uh, board number four. One fifty three. Oh, we needed size number three. I got to size number two, so I'm gonna use the second half of it to cut into number three. And then we go uh, 152 facing tab out away from you, then 153 goes through the toothpick, and then 152 on top again, kind of locking it all up together. And then those go into the, uh, let's see, two holes on the right-hand side that are closest to 
the sub assembly there that are still open. I'm just gonna like a lever, push it, push it in as far as it can go. Make sure it operates. We checked this little sliding mechanism already. <coughs> Going into step number two, uh, we need part number 154, 155, and 156. So we need two of each, as we need to make two sub assemblies. So 154 is um, about center line, horizontal center line to the left and to the right of the vertical. 156 is two little back seats, and 155. One is on the bottom right here, and one is on a little bit below the center line on the left. So 154 goes right into the bottom hole, or hole through whichever side. Uh, you're gonna make bot bot bottom, and then uh, the seats with the design towards the back, uh, or the back of the seats, seat backs. right in the back and I would put a little bit of a wax as it suggests as it is hard to put it in and give it one more try <coughs> it's much easier when you have the wax on same thing we'll do on the other one put a little bit of a wax insert the back of the seat first and then we'll do the 154 from the bottom and there <coughs> uh, step number three is assembly 158 we have it pulled on a site and we still have the third toothpick so just push carefully with the tool 158 out and then 157 is on a top left here of board number four that's the only part left on here so we can discard the board and then uh, we have 158 the toothpick goes through there 157 and then 158 and that sub assembly goes right let's see that's gonna be a tough one two holes so there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So it goes into the second hole of that one, two, three, four line. And then the hole right next to it, because that's the only places you can fit these two. And then the seeds go into the outermost hole on the left. Parallel to that one on the right. It's on the same center line all the way to the right. There's going to be two holes that are still left open there. Just like this. And we got the seats in. We're done with page number 25. Moving on to the page number 26. Another little tiny sub-assembly there. Uh, we're moving on to the board number five. And then uh, we have parts number 159, 160, right next to it, upright of the board, 161. 162 two of those and then I'm gonna use the tool for these two guys and then we need the two toothpicks uh, cut to the size number three And 
now obviously put a little bit of uh, wax and the gears little stars uh, so we got uh, let's see put them together kind of to make sure these little triangles interlock with each other and a gear uh, with the 161 with a little cutout facing away from you that's how we put it uh, toothpicks through these two holes Just like this, and then 150, uh, 162 goes right into the two openings that we have on the side, and all that sub assembly with uh, toothpick goes from the bottom there's a little uh, two offset holes there so it just goes into those holes and the toothpicks go into the corresponding holes in the plate just like this we can push the toothpicks a little bit with a tool make sure they're nice and tight and then we need a rubber band as shown in step number three wrap it to about 15 millimeters so we loop it around tie it up and create about a 15 millimeter loop doesn't have to be exact once again just has to be close enough Cut off the excess and then that little rubber band goes on the outside of this locking mechanism. There's like two opening parts there, so just open it up and snap it there. So when you press the little connect uh, lever, it actually closes down and opens it up. So we're done with step number three and four of page 26. Moving on to page number 27. Uh, step number one, we need parts uh, 163, 164. Uh, they're also on board number five to the left here. It's a little letter. So then we have a letter going uh, into the openings here. like this or actually I should do it oh, I can turn it upside down and still good to go same way Too hard and too far and that's to go into the four holes that are still open so I'm gonna do one first kind of pre-enter it put the um, ladder there and put the second one in push them all the way in as far as they can go and then the little ladder should go in and out just like this um, that's we're done with the step number one two three and four moving on to the pa uh, step number five parts number one fifth 
165 and 166. They ride at the top here, 165 to the left. 174 fell out, of course. And then uh, 166 is the one a little bit to the right of the center line. It's got some center pieces, so we're gonna take those out and put them aside because we're gonna need it. And 166 goes on the side on the right. In the, if you look at the direction of the movement, so there is a tab at the bottom here and tab on the actual piece. So let's do the bottom kind of first and putting the top piece in also at the same time. It doesn't work out well. Let's unhook the bottom. Do the top first. And then the bottom. And it creates a little cabin there. And then same thing on the other side. So we do the top first. Just like that, the cabin is almost done, so we're done with part uh, step number six on page number 27, holding on to the page number 28. Uh, part uh, step number one, we need three number 167 parts. They're on the same board, 167. There's uh, actually we need two sets of those, so we need all six of them. toothpicks or one toothpick cut in half and then we push it through the center of three of the units and then the other center and then cut off the excess. Um, as I always do, I pre-cut a little bit and then snap it off. And then uh, moving on to step number two, part number 168 that fell out, and then we need 169. There's like a little square here with four of those. Push that one out and then push the parts out, carefully using the tool. One, two, they fall right into my hand, so I'm not gonna lose them. Four, and then th those go into the four holes um, in that 168. So uh, with the holes are in um, parallel to each other in this direction, in a thin plane. two full toothpicks, put a little bit of a uh, wax on them so they slide in easy. For these parts. And then as they go through, find the thinner one. And now we put the one that 167 cluster here also and 
push that toothpick through. is that these holes are the two little tabs are not the same distance apart as the holes and these uh, two little uh, sets of 167 so you're gonna have to bend a little bit something in order to fit it in Careful not to break a little sub assembly. All right, we got it through the hole and push it in. I guess bend it slightly so it fits and then slides in back and forth. And as you're done with it, step number four is to just cut off the sharp edges and those. So, as you remember, I pre-cut a little bit and then snap off the rest and then I move to the side so this is a little bent and I move side to side uh, now part number 170 or step number five part number 170 is that the big arch here that goes in the back on the ends of uh, the little doors we're done and now with that sub-assembly that we just created with the cutoff pieces towards the top we just bend, bend it slightly actually put it on the tabs that are sticking out and then bend it over and put it on the tabs on the other side so I haven't inserted it fully on the other Portion. Here we go. Now I can fully put them in just like this. So it's nice and bent, and then these two move forward and back to open up the hole. So we're done with step number eight. Uh, step number nine is we need to have part number 171. Two of those right at the top, and now uh, we need to insert those into the two holes. One is in the top here on the right side, and then one on right underneath the little, which is going to be hard, but we need to squeeze our fingers in there and put it in the hole. On the bottom. That's a tough guy. Here you go. Just like this. And we're done with step number 10 on page number 28. Moving on to the page number um, 29. We need one toothpick, size two. Although we have some size two now. And uh, then part number 174, which is the door here on the top. It was sitting right here. 
173, which is right above it. A little port here, a little, little lever. I'm using the tool to push it out. Uh, and two 170, oh, oh, seven, 172s. So 172 goes into the two holes here from the front. Toothpick goes through that little 173 part. And into the hole right here. So that's going to be our handle. Just like this. Should rotate a little back and forth. And then we need the half of the toothpick. And that's going to go through these two holes 172 and 171 putting making it a door so I'm gonna use the tool to push it in to make sure that it goes through all four holes all the way to the top and then we slice off the little extension here pre-cut and snap off and we got a little door that opens up and closes next step is uh, we need eight number two size toothpicks One, two, three, four. Six, seven, and eight. And we need part 178, 176, and 175. So let's see, 175 is in the front here. 176 is right below on the bottom on the left. 178 is to the top of it of 176 so we need four five toothpicks on the back of 175 and that goes right into the nuts So far, five on the outer circle, outer diameter, and then that goes uh, to the front. We need to push the toothpicks as they pop out all the way in. Make sure the two circles are flush with each other when you push those in. Um, then 176, there's a goes toothpick through the center of it. Kind of like our medallion. And then that goes into the center hole. And then two toothpicks go into 178. top of that right here so you 
Express kind of like stands up a little bit. And then we need two toothpicks for the size number three. <clears throat> Seventy-seven, which is the part right here, says U gears, and then two toothpicks go on the outside holes, and they go on the two holes in the part number one seventy-six. Locking it up. Together with the other part, so it doesn't rotate much. Just find those holes and push the toothpicks all the way in. So now you have it like this, sitting right in the middle, and it's not going anywhere. So we're done with page number 29, step five. Page number 30, step one will be. Parts number 179 and 180. They are also on board number five on the bottom right here. My 193s fall out. So make sure just the writing facing you and that goes 180 is on one side and 170 on the other side. It goes right into centered in between these two um, little parts so one on one side one on the other push them all the way in done and then one part 181 that's a thin on a thin board a big little piece right here Got its own separate board, so you just carefully remove it from the board itself. You can discard the board, there's nothing else on there. And then with the um, sticking out part towards the back, and then we start let's see with the tabs just like this. So this one, this opening it stays here, so I'll push it into this opening, uh, this tab first. And then I'll push it the uh, tab on the back. Just to make sure that it's sitting nice and tight. And now as you wrap it around, I'll go with the taller side first and then wrap it carefully without breaking it in and putting it into the tabs, corresponding tabs. sticking out there I want to push it down a little bit and kind of and just to match the top there Step on the other side. slide it on
bathtub portion sitting on there, and then we need to uh, let's see. Uh, two number two toothpicks. Parts number 182, 183. Also on the same board. That was removed a little bit earlier. So 183 goes in first. And you set it on that little tab. And it goes right into the hole. And then 183 or 182, I'll put the toothpick in. Toothpicks first. put it on the top and then put, push on the toothpick to put it in uh, and then we need parts number 184 185 they're on board number six on the top left and right cover that uh, so make sure you have the design facing outward again and then this will kind of hold the big piece 181 in place put those in all the way all the way and then uh, another touch finishing touch piece 186 that one's on board back on board number five bottom right here this our bottom center I should say and that's a finishing touch on here on this end set in, in place by itself it doesn't want to move anywhere else and we're not gonna force it and then we need parts number 187 they're top right of that board and there's those go on the bottom there's two holes that are still open uh, so they go there with a holes facing to the sides so one on right side and one on the left side down with step number seven on page 30 moving on to page number 31 and uh, let's see here we need parts number 189 All right, let's start with one side. So we need part number 189. And 189. That's right at the center here. It's a circular one. I'm gonna put it on the side. Then we need part number 46, which is also in the center here. Uh, then 188 that's the long piece so careful when you're pushing that one out because it does tend to break quite a lot and I'm just gonna use the exacto knife to pre-cut it to make sure I'm able to take it out that goes here and then 190 is on the left here that goes into this hole then the next one is part 192 that's a 
icky looking thing that goes in the center hole uh, with 146 there and 189 on the outside to lock it up. Next, uh, next hole that's going to be 189 again. and 190 now we need to put a little bit of a wax on 46 and all three of them that we have Inside circular cutouts. Then we need a little bit of a wax sanding on the to take out the little um, connection pieces on one nineties and uh, one ninety two, of course. on those also. Now we're ready to put those in. So we're going to push 146 onto 190 all the way to the end. Push it through this through the hole. Put 189 on the other side of it to lock it up. with this longer it's gonna go through 46 longer side and then one and 46 goes into the hole and then 189 on the other side of it all the way to the end and then same thing on the other end as 46 goes through the T all the way to the end that goes through the hole and then 189 goes on the back and that goes into the three wheels that we have here. So make sure you align them. One of these is the wrong direction, and I was wondering why it's not. Why it doesn't go on. Just like this, and that's one side is done. Now we need to put uh, part number 193, which already fell out. And as I said, make sure you're careful removing it. And I would recommend to pre-cut it. Uh, we need 191. It's a little T piece right here. Uh, 194. Which is, I would re also recommend to cut it out. circulars run right here so in that part uh, we need 
need to scent this portion. Uh, the connection parts. Because that's where it's going to get stuck the most. I uh, need to put a little bit of a wax <coughs> along the length. And then you need to, uh, to put a wax onto the round portion of the one, uh, part number 193, which is going to go inside 194. So 191 goes through that opening, square opening, and through <coughs> into 194. Which is gonna get locked with 195. Then that goes through the bottom opening here, and then uh, <coughs> the round goes. Forty-six. Uh, don't forget to wax it a little bit, and then one forty-six goes on here, all the way in, just like this. And then we have that part complete. We flip it upside. Uh, we flip it on the other side, and we do the mirror image of the same sub-assembly. So we need. Uh, 188 I'll pre-cut 194 also since I'm already doing that and then we need let's see 189, two of those, three. And once again, don't forget you're doing the mirror image. We need 140, uh, 46, eventually all four, so I'll put all four out. Uh, 190, two of them. One 191. One 192. 195. And I think that's it. And 193. Uh, let's see. 46, 189. Okay. So, once again, don't forget to put a little bit of wax on 46. On the outside. And then two T's go on the uh, 146 goes over them. Through the hole. Six. You can send it. I mean, if it doesn't uh, goes through easy, then one eighty nine locks it on the other side. goes through it and 189 is on the other side opposite end and that goes into the wheels
slightly rotate to adjust them. Then 183, send the connection point. Put a little bit of wax on the outside on the round portion and along the, along the length. Uh, put 191 uh, through it. through the end of 194 and locking it with 195. Then inserting it in the bottom hole in the front there and then the cylinder it goes to the hole goes over the well not over the cylinder but you put another 146 on there and then over 146 or 46. We're done with page number 31. Moving on to the page thirty-two. Continuing our assembly. So flip the train back to the other side. You have to be careful not to lose all of these pieces. Let's see. All right, so number one. Uh, assembly, we need six, uh, two thicks cut to size three. see four just checking how for how much further I need to go in order to complete the train for you guys and then I'll switch over for the tender and it looks like this is this page already starts the tender so I'm almost done with the completion of the train assembly uh, this one doesn't work very well so number six we're gonna cut a three Part. All right. Now we need parts number one ninety eight. It's the long part here. Very easy to break. So this is what I'm doing. We need on both sides. So I'm cutting both of those out. Is also a long piece, then fragile. Get those twice out. number 200 there's two of them right here uh, let's see I'm jumping ahead a little bit and uh, Getting distracted. Parts number two, uh, two hundred one. And uh, let's see. We need part 
it's number 197, 1, 2, 3, and 197, 196 are right in the center here, so I'm not going to pull all of them out right now. I'm just going to take them out of the board. We don't have anything else on board number 5, so I can put it inside and push all these guys out. Uh, we're done with that and now we need to do that subassembly so we take the long piece uh, with the uh, thicker piece to the left and the, the little slope towards the top uh, we put uh, one of the toothpicks through it number 200 over it with a slot through that toothpick uh, 196 to 196 says go on to the toothpick let's see I need another toothpick cut in half toothpick has to be let's see uh, we do one 196 on it two of them and we leave at the end we leave Z1 which is that uh, little helping tool so we push it into the one slot so two pieces left on there then that goes, that toothpick goes through the top portion of part number 201 and we lock it up Oop, I'm gonna remove it from there and we lock it up with uh, 197 alright and as we lock it up we just cut off the excess uh, portion on it break out and snap off um, back onto the sub-assembly, so 198, then this guy, then 196 locks that toothpick on the outside of 198. Uh, let's see, then we have another toothpick going through part 187. into the bottom portion of that 201 make sure the toothpick is fully seated and then on the other side of night 199 we have a 201 on one side and 197 on the other side and we're gonna have to build the same thing for the opposite end and make sure all that freely moves back and forth uh, moves uh, very easy and then we need to put a little bit of a wax onto the uh, part number 198 uh, I would send it down a little bit too set a little bit of a wax on it and then we need to look uh, for the exclamation point so uh, let's see so that goes into the top
hole with the longer piece. And then there is a hole in, uh, in the unit itself, so that's where that uh, Z1 goes into. support that piece there to make sure that it's inserted and then we rotate I know, uh, that goes on the bottom so it goes from the bottom so it has to go underneath uh, we need to make sure everything is straight the bottom line is straight and then that uh, little um, part number 199 goes underneath, goes kind of like across the whole bottom assembly. And then you put it on to that middle wheel to lock it up, just like this. And let's see. Then we do the same thing on the opposite end. And flip it upside down or the other way. Uh, find that 146 that fell out, put it back on. Uh, put that assembly back on and let's straighten it out. And then we'll do exactly the same thing as we did the first time, except in mirror image. So just flip the 198 piece with a sloped portion towards the top. We put a toothpick to it. We do need one 196 is on the other half of the toothpick. Push them all the way down to Z1. Or H1, whichever you want to call it. Uh, then it goes through part number 200. Either one of the holes, top or bottom. Uh, no. Top. The one that's easy slide in. And then gets locked with 197 on the other side. And then you slice it off with the axis. That 191, uh, 200 goes into the slot here and locks up with 196, or 198 goes through the 200, locks up with 196. And then the bottom, go toothpick through one, 199, lock it up with 197 and into the 200 going the other direction and then uh, toothpick through 197 through 199 and uh, 201 on the other side Then all that sub assembly goes into the top hole, that's step number one. And we put into the corresponding hole on the body. Don't forget to create a little bit of a support there. Let's push it in. And then diagonally. Something's wrong. I'm gonna take it off. All right, so we line up the wheels on the bottom there. Let's 
So just like in a picture. and we should be done with locomotive moving on to step number five we need parts number 202 and 203 so 203 it's uh, both of them are on board number six uh, 203 is right there bottom right corner and then 202 uh, let's see that's the part right here so there's some internal parts there which we need to take out so we take uh, 202 out and then in inside components, pushing it from the other end. Take them out. And there you go. So uh, with these uh, round facing down and the larger opening facing towards the back, we take a 203. There is two, op uh, two holes on here. They're gonna go to the right side. And we insert it in the very last hole Right there and uh, snap it in let it go as far as you can don't press it on here because you will break it so just press it where the uh, long part is and um, against the um, 203 so as far as it goes we're good now we need part number 204 which is right here in the middle of board number six and we need to put a little bit of owl wax on here. So uh, we use, uh, I'm using the candle wax. Put it on the side. And then it just, for now, it sits right, right here. And then we need the part number 205. Uh, which is right here at the um, inside of the part number 208, one of the blocks there. So part number 205, and that goes kind of like a glasses looking thing. So the opening hole match the holes, and then one of those um, tabs uh, uh, go right into that uh, gear teeth, in between gear teeth. Uh, I want to say between from the bottom into the second opening so just like this then we're moving on to the page number 33 and uh, we need parts number 11 and 206 so 206 is on the right side right in the middle here you just push it out and then 11 there's uh, nine of them here so we just need two for now I have three that fallen out so I'm gonna put one on the side clean it off uh, of any extra material that is there and then uh, we need to put a little bit of a sand onto the 206 just to get it fit so and that Actually, I was wrong with the uh, glasses looking thing. So the glasses actually go into the hole right here, right above the little gear and then push it as far as you can. And then 211, uh, I'm sorry, 206 goes right through that hole, through the gear and through the other hole. So you just need to Feed it in, push it through, and then I would put a little bit of a wax on the uh, number 11s. And those go over part number 206. 
one from one side, the other one from the other side, and they should go in and slide right into the holes there. So there you go. So now the, that gear is moving up and down fairly smoothly. Now we need part number 207. Uh, 207 is also on that uh, board right in the center above the middle line here at the center line uh, vertical center line So we just push it out with the tabs facing down it goes into the two little holes here and then uh, part number 208 That's uh, on the other side of board number six There's Some internal pieces that we need to take out side because there's some of them you're going to use well not some of them but all of them and it's the same thing with the larger portion towards the back that goes right inside uh, that slot need to feed it in a little bit because of that glasses looking thing might not fit easily and then once again, just press it in as far as it can go. Once again, make sure don't press it onto the flat surface here because you will break it. And then feed the glasses into the hole and then uh, the number 207 also into the other two holes. And snap those in just like this. And now we need part number 209, which is right here, right above where the 204 used to be. Then we'll need two parts, uh, part number 210 right here on the right hand side, a little bit above the middle. And uh, one more, I'll push all the, one more part 11 so we need two of those 11 and put a little bit of wax on there number uh, 209 gets a little bit of a setting on both sides and the 209 also gets uh, the gears get a little bit of a wax. Now it has to be mirror image of the other one, so you insert it into the hole, and uh, you make sure they just face each other, and they're uh, symmetrical uh, and mirror. So symmetrical, the parallel surfaces are. Um, bottom surface is parallel to, to each other these two sides are symmetrical uh, just like this so they fit into the gears and then you push the number 209 through it and the other There's one direction that it goes through, so if you look at the part number 209, there are slots. So these little uh, cutouts on the cylinder, they go um, in the same axis as the, as the slots. So just like this. And on the other side, that part number 206 should be sticking out a little bit here. So just like this. And then if you move one, both of them move. Uh, 
I'm sorry, it was to part number 210. Now, uh, part 211 is on the right, uh, left side here on the board number six, a little bit below the middle, and then with a little tap going towards the front, towards yourself, you uh, put that in underneath these uh, levers. Kind of stick it under the angle and then push it down and there's uh, tabs that it has to fit into so you just get it into those tabs match with the holes on one side and then on the other just like this so that's going to be the base and then we're moving on to the page number 33 uh, 34 done with 33 and 212 goes into the other slots 212 is on the to the right of the 211 on board number six and then with that uh, opening or slot going towards the center same thing we'll squeeze it in or slide it in a little bit under the angle whichever angle is easier for you for me it's downwards towards the center and then same thing you just find the tabs for the holes that are there uh, next step number two is uh, part number 213 213 is right here bottom almost in the center there and then 213 there is no directionality of it so you just slide it into the uh, two slots all the way at the other end same thing as far as they can go and we're done now part number 214 uh, let's, let's see it's on the same board on the left here and then we can put a little bit of a wax into the slots so I can use helper tool Just a little wax, you don't need as much as I put on there. Just came out by accident. And then that goes on the top slots. As far as it can go. Uh, now we need uh, one toothpick. Um, cut in half. Tool. We need uh, slot number three. And we need two of these little uh, toothpicks. They go into the two little holes of part number. Uh, 214 and push them through so they stick out on, on the inside and then we need part number 215 uh, which is right in the center here towards the bottom like shown on the picture insert it in the center hole from from inside as far as I can go uh, now we need uh, two parts number 216 and those are on board number seven on the top here symmetrical onto the toothpicks from inside just 
slide them on. And then 217, which is also, uh, it's on board number six. We're back to six right in the center here, a little bit below middle. And that 217 slides over the toothpicks and number 215 and locking. levers up. Make sure they move. And then uh, that whole assembly gets covered with number 218, which is on board number six on the bottom left here. And then with the opening towards the uh, side to, to towards the back there. Um, so you put it over over the tabs into the holes and then 219 which is on board number seven bottom right that one with the two slots towards the center um, put it on the other side all right uh, we're done with part uh, page number 34 moving on to the page number 35 now we get uh, to put the sides on. Uh, first, uh, we go with the higher side towards the back. Uh, and we get part number 220, which is on the right hand side here, of board number seven. And 221 is right next to it. So 220 has uh, the express is uh, in a smaller section of it. So, and that goes, uh, with that tab goes into the slot of the lever on the shorter side. And then into the lever on the other side. Gotta split them apart a little bit. sides and then uh, 221 goes on to the opposite end um, you can do a little bit of wax it'll just make it easier to insert into those uh, openings and same thing on the other side symmetrically um, let's see we're step number three and uh, we need another toothpick uh, to the length of two I'm gonna use the one that we just cut because there's plenty of length there and then we need parts number 222 and 223 So 222, they're on board six, uh, top right here, a little bit to the right of the center line. And then 223 are right at the center, kind of like halfway between the middle and uh, the top of the board. I'm gonna need a tool to push it out, here we go. So 223 with the tab towards the back. Uh, looks like that. Uh, toothpick is a little bit too short, so that's for the next step. Got confused a little bit here, so I'm just gonna split one in half. Um, doesn't give me the length here, so I'm gonna go through 222 first. Uh, and then uh, 223 with the tap towards the back in the same direction as 222. Then uh, 222 again. And then 223 in the bottom there. 
uh, I'm going to push them. go so it's flat and then uh, I'm gonna cut up the toothpick here near the other end so that's my little sub assembly uh, now <coughs> that one goes into the part number 224 uh, which is a little square at the top of word number six here so make sure the hole is to the right and then uh, the 223s are going to those slots Now the little um, toothpick that we need to the size, uh, size number two, that one goes into the hole from the same direction, and then 225 on there, and 225 would be. On one of the little bores that uh, were inside the 202 so I'd use the tool on there just to push it out to make sure you don't break it and then you put that over onto the toothpick and you got a nice little handle goes into the two holes right here at the uh, taller side of the um, wagon fender and uh, parts number 222 should slide right into those holes there you go and then you close the door and a little lever to push it down to lock it up uh, <coughs> so we're done with uh, step number six uh, now we're down onto the step number seven we need part number 226 which is um, also on board number six at the top here a little bit to the left of the center line and then 236 just make sure you don't lose them and uh, the 226 if you um, Pushing it on the side that closest to you, the opening or the slot square opening here is to the right. So that just locks up the sub assembly there. Push it as far as you can as it can go. Just like this. Two numbers, uh, 227, go from one side and from the other, just locking the top and bottom portion together. So that's one of the other reasons why I need to make sure that they're as tight as possible to each other. And 227s are on board. And a little piece here, a um, little cutout from uh, part number 202. They were inside the part number 202. So I'm going to use the tool to push these four out. And then they will go locking parts together. push these two together a little bit to get the 227 going I got it in pretty quickly on one side now on the other side uh, same thing on the opposite end 
so they go into the two two slots right here on both sides. And make sure you squeeze them all the way in. So uh, now we're done with step number nine on page number thirty-five. Moving on to the page number thirty-six. And then page number 36, we need uh, step one. Uh, we need, I broke uh, the tool a little bit. Um, we need two size number three toothpicks. So I have enough length for one here. And now let's see if I can get the other one out of the same toothpick. Yes, I can. second one here uh, now part number 228 which is uh, on one of this smaller boards from part number 202 228 we push the toothpick through toothpick hole and then with the square cut out we put it right onto the um, tab. I think it was part number 209. So I hold it from inside just to make sure it doesn't pop out and put it on there. So now I, I can use that tab to open up and close the doors on the right side. It works. So we're going into the step number two. We need parts number 229, which is on board number six on the bottom there. 230, which is on board number six to the right, a little bit above the middle. Uh, let's see, at number 11, we got those out already. see number 11 I would put a little bit of wax on there and 230 with a tap goes through number 11 Uh, toothpick goes through number uh, on the top there on the 229 and then that whole assembly goes into the slot on the right hand side on the taller portion of the I'm gonna pull out the 229 for now so with the slot it's gonna be in a horizontal axis push it as far as it can go then you put a 229 on top of it and then 240 to lock it up uh 140 to lock it up there's a bunch of them here on the top so just use one to make sure the little uh, drone circles are, are on the right and then we can put a little bit of a wax on there bit smoother through that hole there we go and uh, we're down to step number four uh, parts number 231 and 232 we need 232, uh, this on the board number six on the top right here in the middle. So I'm gonna use the tool to carefully push it out. And then 231s are right in the middle here, or the center line a little bit above the middle. So two of them. 
same thing. I'm using the tool to get those out. And then that uh, with a little um, round side to towards the right, we're putting it over the toothpicks that we just made. Locking it up with uh, 231 on one side and then on the other side. And then that should work the doors. to figure out where the interference is at. Alrighty, so we're good to go. And step number five, we're done. Uh, now we need part number 70. Th those were on the, um, inside the 208 part and uh, 202. So right now we need four of them. on one side and two were on the other side. And there we need parts number 36. So total we need eight of 236. And uh, there is four of them on the bottom on board number six and then four of them right in the middle there. Uh, make sure to clean it up a little bit and apply wax. To the outside surface and all eight of them. of um, wax and then you put it over number 70 and I would put wax on the one on this 70 on these little tabs also so sides just to make sure that you get the number 36 slip all the way to the tab there to the boss to do now with the everything being in wax and your fingers are sliding a little bit Alrighty, now we need part number 234. Both of those are on board number seven. Um, there's actually four of them. So we need all four. Uh, 
uh, parts number 235, which will lock those four. So the four of the 235, they're at the top of the board number seven. Um, so these are symmetrical. There's a little triangle. So the triangle is going to be on one side and then other cutout is on the other side. I'm not even sure what the figure is. So insert the subassembly into the holes and then you lock it up with 235 on both sides. Once again, there is an exclamation mark. Make sure that triangle triangles are on the same side. Otherwise, they will not work. And put the 235 as far as it can go onto 234. Just like this. And same thing, repeat for the other set. Triangles are on the same side. And then lock it up with the 235. Mm. Still recording, which is good. to page number 37 and uh, put these aside for now now we need uh, our sub assembly of the train turn it upside down and then parts number 233 they're all on board number seven on the top right right here and uh, one two three six of them one two three to the slots that are right there so um, with the flat surface towards the bottom view and these also need to go as far as they can so I open up the the doors there just to make sure I don't break it in half as I'm applying the pressure, so I'm only applying the pressure a very short distance and right on top of these parts. And make sure there should be all the way to the bottom surface there. six of them two sub assembly that we just made they go right in outside of these uh, holes openings and we need to put uh, 236 we have two of them here so I guess we'll need all four of them there's two and then they're on board number six two more they're left on there and I use the tool to push them out and then we need number 11, uh, four of them. So we got three left. 
and one I have floating around, so don't lose them. Clean them up. Same uh, as before. Apply wax. Insert the number 11 to the 236, and then 236 you push from inside the hole into that slot right there. Through the slot so it sticks out. And let's do it for all four. as far as it can go. So we're kind of like a combination of step number four and number five at the same time. Now we need parts number 140. There's one on the inside tab there from 202 or 208. And then three more on the top of board number six. All right, and then now uh, you use those and slide them through these little openings there. Um, once again, apply a little bit of a wax. To that middle piece and kind of like push it into the slots a little bit. Just to make sure you don't break neither 236 nor 140. on 236. Get a better handle of it, or try to get a better handle. them out completely and they should slide right in especially if you put the wax on all the way to the end just like that and we're done with step number six and seven <laughs> now we need to uh, 24 of number two size toothpicks. That means we need, uh, let's see, I would say probably six should be enough because we can get four out of each one. Split them in half. And now we can always get more toothpicks. It's just a regular toothpicks that uh, can be purchased at any grocery store. And now we need no, uh, size number two. And we maybe we don't even need six. One, two. Three. I can get three 
out of each side. Wow. It's a lot of short pieces of toothpicks. Hopefully we don't lose any. We still have some extras left. Because we used only four of them instead of six. And now we need uh, part number 88 and 91. So all of them are on board number seven. 88 are, are the wheels and 91 is a rim. So and there's going to be eight of them. Eight of each. Start with 88. And I'm going to put 91s on the side right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those little toothpicks they go into the three holes on part number 88 so that's gonna be a little challenge so I'm just gonna push them through all the way through just pre-insert three and use the tool so you don't hurt your fingers pushing those in I mean I'm hurting my fingers so That's right, no pain, no gain. You can use the tool to push them further down all the way to the other side. 
so they don't stick out just toward to, to the surface. two more wheels left and looks like I didn't lose any toothpicks Now we put a 91 on top of those, so just match the holes, put it on the surface and squeeze it through, or push it down, uh, push it down where the toothpicks are at so you don't break the little rim. Sorry for being quiet, there's a lot of repetition here, so it should be self-explanatory. And we're done with all eight wheels. Moving on to page number 38. And then um, they all go on to this little tabs there. Um, a little bit directionality, so if it doesn't go fairly easy and one direction, try it rotated 90 degrees and try to put it out the other side. So there's a little rectangle on there, but it's just figuring out which way it goes on. sure the rim is facing outside and just like that and they're all spinning too um, step number two is part number 237 which is on board number six, and we're done with board number six. It's on the bottom here. And that goes right into the slot here at the where the door is at. So you kind of like push it in, then kind of go towards, then push it towards the top. As far as it can go. Careful not to break it, so that's for the uh, little tender. Now we're uh, moving on to the assembling the rails. I'm gonna put the tender aside. And now the rails are parts numbered on board number seven. 
There's a bunch of 238s. Three of uh, we need three two the uh, 238. One two forty. Which is on the top here. Careful pushing it out. It's a big piece. Might be a little bit fragile, so we need two thirty eights. Uh, careful, there's a two thirty nine right inside of it, and we need three of them, so. I'm gonna put on the side right now. So three two thirty eights, one two forty, and two two forty two, which is on board number eight. Uh, long pieces on the left hand side of here. So and then uh, let's see two forty facing. With your gears facing outward, um, push the rails 242 with the opening, the ones that opening is all the way at the edge. Push it as far as it can go, and then the squares are towards the other side. Just like this, and then 238 will lock at the other three locations push as far as we can go One side is done. Just make sure it's nice and straight. We're moving on to page number 39. I'm gonna put that one aside. And there it's uh, parts number 240s. Uh, let's see on the other side. see any 240s my assumption will be 238 because it looks exactly the same but I don't see any 240s so it's all 238 I'm gonna use uh, three more from uh, board number seven It's on the other side. Uh, here we need the 242, which here the rails, two rails all the way on the right here of the rails. Alrighty, so the that goes the opposite the side facing. I mean, that's going to be the same. In fact, it wouldn't matter. In a, which way it's facing right now, that's when you set it up, then when it's, when it's gonna matter. So, I'm not sure if what's the point of me going through these, this exercise, but just in case, because we already discovered an error there. Go. 
just like this. And now five times we need to make 243. So these are the rails right here in the middle. And put instead of 240s, I'd say it's a 240. Uh, 238 because we don't have any other numbers on here so I'm gonna push all of these out and get rid of board number eight because it's done sure don't throw out 239s. Uh, so I'm gonna have them split here. get a lot of rails with this model. Just like a lot of rail. I don't think we got that many that much rail with any except rails with the crossing. And unfortunately um these rails are not interchangeable with the locomotive with tender. The earlier model that was released um, in 2015 through the Kickstarter. So um, now it's just a repetition work. Use the 238s because we don't have 240s. Um, there's four of them per two sets of rails. So I'm just um, I'm doing one side and then the other side. So one is done. And now you get to repeat it five more times. Um, just go through it you just to make sure that everything assembles the way it's supposed to assemble so we don't have any issues any problems and as you can see I just set uh, the little bars down on the table and then push the part number 243 over the actual rail so it hits the table and it's nice and flat piece so that's two Four and the last one. Now, the last 
part of the puzzle is you use 239 and you do from the outside just to connect the rail. So I'll show just one side because um, I don't need to connect all, what is it, seven of them. And now your rails are connected. You got uh, you can connect all seven of them, and let's see, each one is roughly 35 millimeters, so I'd say about a foot and a half almost um, times seven, so you got about ten and a half feet correct yes so something like that somewhere around there um, so we're done with the assembly of the rails uh, I'm gonna put these aside part number 39 is also aside need to find the envelope for these from my old toothpick set and probably just let my son play with it and now we just check the operation of the train now here it is uh, we have assembled it some hours ago and uh, the operation now to move forward is uh, we set this lever down towards the front right next position right in the middle is neutral and then reverse is push it all the way back so we want towards the front uh, now this is a release just to push it in towards I guess it's like lock, locks it up um, and now we do 25 to 30 half turns so you want to make sure you do half turns because uh, if you go full turns 25 to 30 you will break something now we do oh, right, let me double check make sure we're not wound up much one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Alrighty, and then we uh, push the lever towards the back. And then it unlocks it. So we barely have any movement here. So uh, there's a lot of friction on it, so I'm, I'm going to help it a little bit. and help it unwind put it back in drive lock it up and let's do winding one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now switching back again. And it's nice and perfect. So we had a little bit of the sticking here. So as soon as I released it, now everything moves, moves fine. Check it again. So just move that lever towards the front. It locks up the gears. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now we're pushing that little bar here towards the back. And that unlocks it and drives the train. Now, uh, we're going to check the other operation. Lock it up again. We'll do again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm going to switch the gear 
guess I can't really switch it when it's wound up. Let me check it one more time. Switch it over to neutral, switch it over to the reverse. Now we can wind it up going in reverse. Make sure the operation is in reverse. Now it locks up again. Let's see. So there's a somewhere gears get stuck. Forward's going fine. Reverse, we're gonna try one more time. is not operating so there is somewhere there you go there's a burr somewhere on one of the gears so the because it's plywood there is a lot of friction and uh, initially when you try to start up the model uh, there is a high chance that somewhere uh, the burr wasn't removed and there's not enough um, lubrication on one of the gears so that's um, might be the cause of interferences So you need to play with it a little bit uh, to get it to get it going. So same thing here. Now it unlocks. So there is a somewhere inside here. In my case, is the um, interference in that little uh, round uh, cylinder here. But it could be anywhere in the gears because there's a quite a few of them. So I'm going to try one more time. I didn't do 25 so now it works much better stock sticks a little bit but once you play with it a little bit more a couple more times and then it should go nice and smoothly all the way from start to finish uh, now we're moving on to page number 42 just to check operations of everything else so that's the tender uh, when you press on that lever the doors open on the side which is we got it working And then uh, here inside the train, there's a lever there so you can open the, um, I guess, coal comp or um, compartment for coal or um, section for the coal. I'm not sure of the official name of that. And then uh, step four, you can lock the tenders to the train. I would press a lever, the ones on the side of the train here a little bit, especially in the beginning, so to lock it up. Now they all move together, and to release it, just press the lever again, to move the lever towards the front. And um, according to the manual, uh, assembly instructions we're all done so there's a little bit movement here you can open up the roof obviously the doors we just played with you can separate it tender tender moves the wheels move there so um, there's a lot of operation um, lever to for the train to go and obviously reverse neutral and forward so everything is operational if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to either leave a comment below this video or send me an email at uh, info at ugears.us i usually try to answer everything within 24 hours so you will get some kind of answer pretty soon 
Uh, videos might take a little bit longer. Usually don't check it every day, but usually a few days um, for me to respond. Uh, any parts break during the assembly? There are some spares, uh, smaller parts. I'm at board number seven. Uh, so you might find those useful. Uh, and uh, if any other parts break, then um, you can send me email. If you purchased it from me, there is no charge for the replacement. If you purchased it elsewhere, um, usually it's uh, $3.50 for shipping fee. The part is still free. Um, once again, uh, info at ugears.us with any questions. Uh, my name is Dimitri, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.